Oh, can you, can you guys hear me now? <laughs> My bad. I forgot I muted myself because I was recording. <laughs> well, I shouldn't, uh, I guess, Netflix might get mad at me if I say that. <laughs> but, um, okay, can you guys hear me now? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, it should change in a little bit, I think, right? It's showing on me that it's working. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like, there's like kind of a delay. Okay, cool. Yay! Perfect. Yeah, sometimes when I film stuff, I like to mute my mic. I can't forget that I have to <laughs> unmute it and stuff, so... Yay, so welcome guys. What was I saying before? Oh yeah, we're gonna do cabin confiding today. And also we have So here. Yay. Say hi to the say hi to the audience. So <laughs> hopefully you won't fall. But um yeah, so we're doing cabin confiding and it seems like it's kind of like um like love hotel, but I remember Cross said that it has to do with like what they love and like who they love and stuff. So it seems like we might be finding out more so like what they, um, you know, could have been like signing away basically or what they were trying to protect, you know, in that first kind of like scene where it's like you can save the thing you love and put yourself in danger or, you know, you know, not <laughs> or, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so tired. <laughs> I got to fix my sleeping schedule. But anyways, oh, yeah, thank you for coming, Zell. I said that too when I was muted. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, stopping by. I remember you saying that you uh, helped program this game too, so that's really exciting. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how things go. And I guess depending on how long this is, we may do the free time events today too. We will have to see. I haven't totally decided yet. I guess I can hear the funky music now. Take jamming to this while I was uh, <laughs> testing out stuff. Yay! Let me know if I need to make my box on here. Yeah, sure. Just go ahead and do it. Can you ever tell if this is too big or not? Slightly smaller. There we go. Oh, thank you, Blake, for the uh, 99 cents donation. <laughs> yeah, my sleeping schedule's terrible. <laughs> I like fixed it for a second and then like got bad again. Like I keep <laughs> waking up at like 11 on the day I'm supposed to stream. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Carlos VAs are dating. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. And let me know too. Um, hopefully the music is good. It should still be good. I don't think I changed anything for the last stream. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think um, I was looking at Blaze's stream for this. I think it was like kind of two hours or something. So I think it should probably be like two hours. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's so cute. So wait, this is like uh, based off of the characters. I know who Rocky Road is. <laughs> Ulti the ultimate ice cream. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Watermelon? I just gotta <laughs> focus on um, what would uh, Chris call these <laughs> characters? <laughs> Basically, I'm like, who has green hair? <laughs> who would be the breakfast mix? Would that be. That'd probably be. Um, uh, crap, why can't I think of a twin? <laughs> well, maybe. Or would it be birthday cake? Because he has white hair. Uh, I have no idea who Pistachio is. Maybe Cross? Ah, whatever. We'll do Pistachio. <laughs> and here I am again. A lounge more elegant than any I've laid eyes on. All the Monokumas. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Little good old Wolfie Chan, too. <laughs> In the background. A room with the confines of our dreams. Tied to one of the other participants. This time it seems I'm here with Corza. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about it too. It kind of makes me sad to say, but I feel like I could see Corza being like the first character to die just because he seems like he knows more than what like he's letting on. Him and like uh, Rox both are kind of like that, but it seems like he would be more likely to die because he knows more about uh, Foxy Chan, <laughs> Wolfie Chan. <laughs> but I was like, it's a little sad for me to say, but I could totally see him dying and it's like, we never get to find out, you know, what he was talking about. You know, I don't think he didn't say what he was talking about, right? Um, Turn up the volume a little bit for me too. 
Yeah, I don't think he said it. I think him and Rox were both just like, we, um, can you turn the music down a little bit? It's not too intense, just a little loud. I can turn it down, yeah. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that's good. Just let me know. And yeah, I forgot to put a, if you just look up Dognarpa F Cabin Confiding, the, uh, the download page will pop up immediately. Once I stop streaming, I'll add it to the description though. Yeah, I could see him definitely either dying early or playing an important role, one or the other, you know. As the awkward tension began to rise, my memory took me back to the first day we all met. I kind of feel like Corza was like flirting with Enigma a little bit, like in one of the scenes. <laughs> Let's see if I was right. Scarlet had reprimanded me for assuming someone in the group could know something about our situation. And she was right to do so. It was reckless of me to assume the worst so early on. At the time, Pocket and Yaxi admired Scarlet from afar. Well, I say admired, but... Let's just say it was more than admired for now. Corsa remained quiet at the time, didn't he? Hey, so uh, what do you think of Scarlet? What do you mean? Scarlet, what do you, what of her? No spamming in the chat. Let me, I'm gonna put you guys in a timeout if you spam. Well, I mean, don't you think she's good look? I mean, I mean, don't you think she's good looking? But why? I suppose, what brought this on? Something made me think back to when Pocket was checking her out. Looking past her assets, she is cute. Made me wonder if you consider her somebody like her. <laughs> Why are you so curious, Enigma? No. Um, she's certainly beautiful, but she's not my type. He might have somebody like waiting for him back home. <laughs> I would flirt with Enigma, I can't blame him. Same. <laughs> Same. Oh yeah, what is your type? I'll admit, looking at you, you seem like... Oh, <laughs> I keep getting confused with who's talking. I'll admit, looking at you, you seem like the type to put work before girls. It doesn't matter. My type isn't important. You're correct in thinking I place work before girls. Because of that, I don't see myself venturing into the dating scene anytime soon. Okay, it doesn't everybody. Why is that? Girls dig types like you. <laughs> Broody, mysterious, no things about uh, <laughs> no things about the killing game, might die soon. I'm sure you'd find yourself I'm sure you'd find yourself someone. And <laughs> we're probably gonna die pretty soon too, so you might wanna make it quick. I get work is important, but you can't tell me a special girl hasn't caught your eye before. <laughs> Aw, that's a cute sprite. You're really pushy when you want to be, you know that? Very well, in truth, there was someone before all this. Why? Oh. Looking back on it now, I even go as far to say I fell in love with her. Uh oh. Really, love? I didn't expect that one. So what happened between you two? You don't have to tell me, of course. He must have been a real ass to her, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Let's not be sassy. <laughs> Maybe we can go back and do the sassy answers later. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Very well. I've come this far, I suppose. I wouldn't mind telling you the story. She. This girl, I knew to a degree she liked me. At the time, I was unsure if she liked me the same way I did her or if she considered me more of a friend. You see, when we were close, we spoke with one another on a daily basis. I loved talking with her. She was the type of girl to make a room shine the moment she stepped inside. Aww. She was captivating. She had a quiet demeanor on the surface, but underneath all those layers was a girl like no other. As time went on, I had thought it impossible for me to fall for her more than I already did. However, my feelings grew stronger by the day. I don't know if they ever dated or not. It seemed like something definitely happened. <laughs> he must have been a real ass to her, huh? <laughs> She must have been one of a kind. Yes. Yes. She was. Oh man, she died. Though things changed, our conversations grew shorter as my work became increasingly overbearing. I'll be depressing if she like died and he was like too distracted with work or something to like really hang out with her, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's like, <clears throat> keep having to clear it. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I wanted to toss my work aside, grab a hold of her, and tell her how I felt, but... Work stupid... Consumed me. Stupid Wolfie Chain kept making me program stuff. That's kind of what it seemed like, because he didn't remember his past. Like, they're like, it seemed like they kind of worked together at some point. I couldn't. My work-driven self stopped me time and time again. And just as I was all but given up hope on us, she said those words to me. I love you. Aww. I was a fool. Aww. I turned her down. 
opting to focus on my work before committing myself to the girl I fell for. Aw, oh, man. Don't tell me she died or something afterwards. That'd be really sad. Her response still cuts me deep to this day. Well, I guess if she died, it wouldn't... Well, I would assume that she would be the person he cares about most, you know? So maybe she didn't die. It's fine. Aw. That's all she said. And then she walked away. Gently sobbing. Corza, why'd you do that? You loved her too! I don't understand people sometimes. I hear after that, she stopped going to work for a short time. Oh no. And when she managed to make it in, she'd avoid me at every turn. Anyway. Uh. She's moved on from me now. From what I last heard, she's engaged. Aw, oh, dang. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks, but I mean, you did miss your chance. Ugh, I was like, I kind of wanted to look at the log. I was like, what exactly did you say to her? I was like, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> That's hard. <laughs> that does suck, but I can understand. I mean, she has the right to move on, you know? It's like, if you turned her down. Don't be. If anything, I should apologize. That's sweet that he still wants to protect her, though, if she's the, you know, one that's most important to him. <laughs> Look at me. We've only known each other for such a short time. And I'm already unloading all of this on you. <laughs> Is it because you love me? I can be your new, <laughs> your new most important person, Corza. Your question should have been met with a, we drifted apart, not the entire story. No, I appreciate you confiding in me like this. If you say so. So, what about you? Huh, what about me? Have you got a special someone in your life? My mommy. Oh, you can scroll back if you like. Oh, okay, cool. I was wondering, I was like, I didn't want to mess up anything. Oh, cool. That's nice, thanks for letting me know. She stopped going, it's fine. It's like, what do you say? I was a fool. Open if I was turned her down. Opting to focus on my work. Or... I guess I could have told her. I don't know. It's like he could have told her that, like, yeah, I decided to focus on my work, but, like, don't I don't know. If I confess to somebody anything... and they said that, your question should have been... I would, uh, I would think they weren't interested and I'd move on too. So it's kind of like, eh, I can, <laughs> I can understand her totally moving on. If you say so. So. Huh? What about me? Have you got a special someone in your life? <clears throat> Mommy. Um, perhaps you haven't found anyone of interest, or maybe that's the person he like cares most about. All right, I admit it. Since you told me so much, no, I haven't found anybody yet. Ah, yet. That's the key word right there, isn't it? But maybe during the game. When the time comes, you'll find someone. As for me, I just don't think I'm ready yet. Anyway, thank you. Enigma. Getting that off my chest was nice. Yeah, of course it's sweet. This wasn't something you can discuss with ease, so thanks for lending an ear. Yeah. Hey, what are friends for? Ah, oh, thanks for the sob story. It was a good laugh. Oh my god. We gotta do these answers later. <laughs> That's so mean. What are friends for? Friends, is it? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> did, I, did I just, just get friend zone? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't often we get to see Korza smile. And that was a smile I'd never forget. I'm glad I got the chance to relax for a bit. The situation is certainly difficult, so it's nice to see him let his guard down. If he's starting to trust me with something so personal, I hope he's going to trust me throughout this game as well. Aw, cute! I don't know, should we go ahead and do the mean ones uh, now, or should we wait? Hmm. <laughs> Somebody kind of wants to see the reaction to the mean ones. I'll probably scroll pretty fast. Er. Oh, wait. Can I do control? There we go. <laughs> this makes me feel like an asshole. <laughs> I think I might just do it right afterwards because I uh, kind of remember it better that way. You must have been a real ass to her, huh? I see. Oh. Uh, yes, maybe. Maybe so. Hey, it's in the past. We all. Hey, it's in the past. We all make mistakes. You're right. I should take it as a learning experience. I'm still interested, though. Were you guys an item? I would like some space. Uh, I was like, I kind of thought that maybe he would just stop talking to me after I said something like that. It's like, why would he open up to me when I'm like, yeah, dude, <laughs> so loser. <laughs> loser, you were in love. <laughs> you got rejected. <laughs> oh, lame. 
I'm sorry, Enigma. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a short while. Oh, uh, sure. I hope I didn't upset Perhaps you. Another time. I'm all right. Speak with you some other time. Ah, sauntering in his way to the far corner of the room, I caught a glimpse of a frown from Corza. I must have said something wrong. He looks really upset. I wonder what it was. <laughs> okay, so you can uh, you can kind of well. like uh, go through and uh, redo it if you want to. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> You're kind of a dick, Enigma. Sorry, that probably wasn't the best time for jokes. Uh, <laughs> awkward. I better get going. Corza turned his back to me and swiftly exited the room. My bad? Okay, yeah, then he can go. <laughs> Friends. Friends. <laughs> I'm just going to forget all that shitty stuff he said to me. <laughs> Welcome, just Cole. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's always like funny when you see the lines like the mean lines But then once you do it, you're like, oh, no awkward. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that should I that's how I always feel whenever I choose stuff like that And back here again, huh within the confines of a dream. I share the same space with one of the others <laughs> Yaxi Towards the back of the room stood a silked fighter like no other her strikes had such precision, such fluidity, that I was mesmerized. Each punch thrown with such grace gradually felt more powerful than the last. Staggering by the sheer amount of power, I sat in awe for a short time. That was until she missed and she punched me in the face. Phew. <laughs> Phew, how did I do, Enigma Chief? What? Uh, oh. Sorry. Spacing out on me? Sorry, man. Must be pretty boring sitting there. No, 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 it's not like that at all. I was just impressed as all. Really? Yeah, I've never seen anybody move with such finesse before. How strange. It's weird, and here I seem to be able to use my speed and power to its full capability, capacity. I don't know why, maybe it's a dream or something? Ha <laughs> uh, is that what this is? <laughs> the cabin confiding? So I don't really know the lore exactly about the, the cabins. <laughs> Just make it a little special. I guess I shouldn't give him that voice. He's got he's got too sexy of a voice, Wolfie Chan. <laughs> I just made it for them to <laughs> to have some sentimental moments. Yeah, I feel that too, Drew. It's, <laughs> it always pains me <laughs> to choose the options too. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna go back and do all the other ones. <laughs> I guess we'll see depending on what they say, but uh, I was like, man, that made me feel so bad. I was like, I'm sorry, Corza. It's okay if you hate me, I understand. Whatever the case, I could definitely feel the impact of each punch all the way from over here. Eh. And it could have been better. I still got a lot of work to do. But aren't you the best of the best? Is there anyone out there that can beat you? It's just the way it is. Of course. Just because I'm an ultimate now doesn't mean someone can take that title from me. It's all about training hard. Each and every day, anyone can do it. Which means I gotta keep on top of my game, even in here. <laughs> I just hope everyone outside waits for me. The biz moves on fast, you know? You mean they'll find someone to replace you? You know, I've got a fight scheduled in a few months. If I can't make it, they could deem it a loss. Forfeit it to be forfeit to be more specific. If my opponent wants, they could ask to postpone the match, but there's no way of knowing for sure. I guess I was like thinking more about the setting of this whole thing. It probably is like Love Hotel where it's just yeah, some kinda some kind of dream. My opponent wants to get asked to postpone the match, but if there's no way of knowing for sure... But surely everyone knows about your disappearance by now. You're a huge star after all. It'll happen. Don't matter. Like I said, they'll move on without me. Will your fans take that? Take that, though? They might fight back in your stead. <laughs> Probably knowing them. Don't mean the higher-ups... Doesn't mean the higher-ups will listen, though. My fans mean a lot to me. They've been with me every step of the way. Oh, okay, so it's her fans that she cares most about, maybe? I was trying to think, too, how, like, this whole thing connects with the outside world, because there was, like, um, the news report where there was, um, you know, like, the dead bodies, and, like, the reporter kept getting, like, cut off, like, this is the <laughs> when died, and all that kind of stuff. I was like, I kind of feel like maybe I was, like, kind of wondering if maybe the Characters killed people in the real world and this is their punishment. I don't know if that really makes sense though. That was just kinda like the first thing that came to mind when I was watching that scene. So I'm trying to think of like other um possibilities though. I was like, I guess they could have like the people that died could have just been like 
people that others cared about the most, you know, that um, were sacrificed because of like a different group in the game. There's still, yeah, those girls that we found too. And I, ha I still have to go back and see like if um, Enigma got knocked out after he like signed the papers or not to see if like it would make sense for them to be originally a part of the game. Cause I think that does make the most sense. Cause it's like 14 to 16, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I was just kind of uh, brainstorming. My fans mean a lot to me. They've been with me every step of the way. Along with my family, I can't let them down, which is why I'll keep on training while I'm here. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> she really loves her job. I wonder if there's a way I can cheer her up. Punch me. Do you mind telling me more about your fans? You know me, I'll take you on right now. That's training, right? Okay, that, that one might be fun to do later. I feel like it's probably one or to open up though. Hmm. Huh? Oh, sure. How do I explain this? I love the little sprite. <laughs> My fans are really passionate people. They're really devoted to my career. It's like if someone were to bash me, they'll swoop in and defend me. It's kind of cool. Like how would how would they kill all her fans as well if like um it was if that was like her most special, you know, people just to get them all together for like a fan sign up and like blow the place up. I'm not really sure. It's like if someone were to bash me, they'll swoop in and defend me. It's kind of cool. Of course, I try to tell them to ignore people like that, but they don't listen. <laughs> they show, they start trending stuff on Twitter, like so and so is over party, but it's kind of fun. They're always there for me. If I have a match coming up, they'll cheer me on everywhere I go. Sometimes I have autograph signings. I remember this one time. Um. Oh, sorry, I should keep this short, huh? Don't want to waste too much of your time, man. No, it's okay. Please keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. There was this Aww. little girl at one of my autograph signings. She couldn't have been older than eight or nine. Ah, uh, could be this little girl that's captured too. I remember her hiding behind her dad's leg Aww. when she met me. <laughs> cute little thing. Mm, that's cute. You know, I could tell she was a huge fan. She was wearing my merch from head to toe. Aww. That was the first time I met a fan so young, so... I wanted to hear her story. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm glad that like, I don't know. I'm sure she's like a really good role model to like uh, little girls too. Cause it's like, I don't know. She's like so strong and stuff. It'd be cool to look up, have like uh, a woman like that to look up to as like a little girl. The dad was struggling to get her to speak to me. So I stood up and crouched Aww. next to her. I said hi to her and asked, what made you like boxing so much? She responded back by saying, <laughs> I don't like boxing. <laughs> I just like you. I was a little <laughs> blown away. You know, I wasn't sure if the dad forced her to wear the merch or something, you know? But what she said next shocked me even more. What did she say? She said she didn't like Aww. boxing that much, but she loved me. Yeah, it's like good to have a good role model, you know? I think that is so important to like have role models. I feel like when I was little, I like, loved Dragon Ball Z like as a kid, but I was so sad because like, all the female characters in Dragon Ball Z were like so weak besides like Android 18, but then she kind of like stops fighting anyways. I guess it's kind of a spoiler. Sorry for people who haven't watched it yet. But um, I remember like being kind of sad by that, you know, as like, I felt like bad about being a girl almost. I was like, why are there any strong like girl characters? So I think it is important to have like good role models like that. So I think that's sweet. She said, watching my interviews made her so happy something about my positivity. Aww. See this necklace? She gave it to me. Oh, that's so fucking cute! <laughs> Your fans really are something special. Yeah. Aww. I miss him. I hope they didn't kidnap the little girl, but I feel like that probably is who, like, um, would have died, I guess, if she didn't sign the thing. Or if she did sign it. I can't remember exactly how that worked. You're so special to so many. I know you'll be back in that ring in no time. I wish I had fans too. God, it must be nice being famous. I would have made Frieza. I was like, I don't think Frieza was a female. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to look up to Frieza. <laughs> like five-year-old me was like, I want to be just like Frieza. <laughs> That'd be kind of bad. <laughs> it's a bad, uh, a bad role model. <laughs> I think I did think Frieza was female for a while though, but then uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember uh, exactly when I found out but there's like not really any good like female like I guess like strong female characters in Dragon Ball Z. I think like a lot of older shonens are kind of like that. I think we've gotten I don't know I think some shonens have gotten better 
Just like Full Metal Alchemist has a lot of like good female characters, but a lot of other ones kind of still. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Sakura is great. And yeah, the Danganronpa girls are great. There definitely has been like better representation in the media for sure, but uh, I think um, there's still definitely like. <laughs> there's still definitely like. Um, instances of like some shonen shows I've watched where like the female characters will be like so like I don't know they just like write them to be so useless and like damsel in distress and I'm like ah this makes me just, like <laughs> makes me so angry <laughs> okay I'll stop rambling you're so special to so many I know you'll be back in that ring you're in right. no time I can't let them down no I won't let them down oh yeah Vegeta was probably like my favorite character growing up in Dragon Ball Z he had like the best story I felt like and if by some chance I have to go down I'll go down fighting. Hell yeah, Yaxi. I'll hit that rule guy so hard he'll forget all about this game. Hey, maybe that might work. Mm -hmm. What you think? I think you're gonna get murdered. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to you knocking him out, but I'm um, kind of opposed to <laughs> to what's gonna happen afterwards. Then that's what I'll do. Even if he's my last opponent, I'll send him flying. If her fans can inspire her that much, I have no doubts. Yaxi will do everything it takes to survive. After all, she hasn't just got one or two people supporting her. I know this may not be the boxing ring, but I think if you listen real hard, you'll hear their voices. The voices of all those people who adore you. And the voice of that one little girl waiting for her hero to come back home. Aw, that one was sweet. I'll do hers because they weren't mean. I feel like the ones with Corzo were so, like, just aggressive. Like, God, Corzo, you're such a dick. Like, why is he mad? <laughs> oh, man, poor So. He keeps falling. Why are you doing this to me, Weeby? I'll put you over here so you don't fall so much. Get it so much like your name. Do you mind telling me more about your fans? Let's Talk fight. The bricks. <laughs> you're about to get your ass kicked. Hold on, you sure? Sure, no regrets. Just a warning. <laughs> I gotta warn you, I find it hard to hold back at times. You're about to die. Okay, the regret is sinking in now. <laughs> Come at me! <laughs> uh, voice cracked. <laughs> it's like pocket. <laughs> you sure? Okay, I'll try to tone down the power of my punch. You sure about this? Yeah. Oh no, I'm going to die. I just know it. All right, here it goes. <laughs> Dodge! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did I knock him out? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Uh, and, 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 oh, he's, he's, got, he's got a pulse. Okay, uh, I better breathe. Um, should I slap him? Oh no, 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 no. If I slap him, I'm probably gonna break his skull or something. Oh god, oh god. Enigma, enigma. Oh, do I like. Uh, there's no water here. Maybe I should use my saliva. No, no, no. Uh, no um, uh, should I just. Uh, okay, 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 uh, Enigma, come on, wake up, wake up, oh god, his eyes, oh god, I opened them, oh god, Enigma, she no, no, please, light is fading no. fast, <laughs> so funny, Enigma, she no, wait, did you get an S rank yet? Was this improv? <laughs> I don't remember much of that time, except Yaxi going on for a while about using her saliva to bring me back to life. <laughs> One moment was full of undeniable fear. <laughs> Next, I woke up in my dorm room. The dream was over. Note to self, never train with Yaxi again. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That was pretty cute. <laughs> I wish I had fans, too. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheer up, man. I'm sure you have your family backing you every step of the way. Yeah. Fans are to be treasured, sure, but nothing tops the unconditional love from parents. Wait, what was your opponent? What was your opponent's name? Maybe I'm actually the ultimate boxer too. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. I almost killed you a second ago. Uh, isn't there only <laughs> one ultimate per career, though? <laughs> the slightly less ultimate boxer. Besides, my opponent definitely isn't you. He's Japanese. His name's Aki Salamander. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm not full Japanese, huh? Wait, Salamander? That's that kind of last name. What kind of last name is that? That's Japanese. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, is that a stage name? Don't ask. <laughs> He's weird. Addicted to protein too. <laughs> Comes out in like a salamander costume. <laughs> Aki Salamander. I see. Oh, and he told me this one story where he could summon this thing with a gun. Want to hear about that? <laughs> summon this thing with a gun? <laughs> Exaggerated stories, huh? Reminds me of someone I know. Yaxi does seem to do that a lot. <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense since she's like a boxer, like famous person. 
I feel like, uh, you know, she's kind of like entertaining, so she embellishes stuff. Oh, wait. Persona 3? Akihiko reference. Like, oh, yeah, I haven't played the Persona 3 yet. My bad. Maxi spoke about her opponent for what felt like hours with no signs of letting up. I need to play Persona 3. I just, like, haven't because, like, I know you can't control the party members like you can in, like, 4 and 5, and I just, like, I don't know. I'm just not looking forward to that aspect of the game. <laughs> I'm sure it's still good, but, yeah, it was, like, partially why I was, like, man, I kind of want them to, like, remake it or something. I tried to get a word in, but failed every time. As much as I listened, there was only one thing that crossed my mind. This salamander guy sounds like he'd be the perfect match for Yaxi. <laughs> okay. You're right. That was cute. Aw, uh, breakfast mixed. Okay, that was her. I was like, I'm not doing a very good job at guessing these. I'm like assuming this is um Scarlet. I'm guessing this one might be twin. Ultimate ice cream. I don't know if that one's like um just like everybody. Kinda seems like it might be. Pink bubblegum. Same place, same situation. Within the confines of a dream, I shared the same space with one of the others. And this time, staring at the television, it <sighs> Rissy! Okay, that's kind of who I thought this one was going to be. Just because of the pink hair. <laughs> a little hard, okay. Or play mods Persona 3 Portable. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was like, that kind of makes sense that there would uh, be uh, like a good mod for it. I should definitely do that. I like had an emulator for it for a little bit. The emulation wasn't that good though. <laughs> it was a while ago. But um, I could probably find a better like emulator for it and then maybe add some mods. That'd be good. <laughs> Cause yeah, I was like, that part kind of freaks me out. <laughs> She's been staring at the blink screen for some time now. Hey, Rissy, are you okay? Mm-hmm, yeah. Tell me what's up, maybe I can help. It's just, aw. Aw, a little, a little sad face. I'm just missing my parents. This cabin reminds me of our living room. It's cozy here. We'd sit watching TV like this all the time. Mom. Mom loved reality shows. I never understood them myself. That's how my mom is too. <laughs> it's just a bunch of people screaming at each other all season. And that's the entertaining part. I miss coming home from work. She'd tell me all, all about those shows. <laughs> it's funny how you miss the small things like that when you're out here. I can relate. My mom likes those shows too. It's just like a mom thing, isn't it? But hey, I noticed you were using the past tense. You do know that no matter what, they'll we'll get out of here, right? No. We Aww. No, it'll never be the same again. What do you mean? <sighs> she looks really upset. Should I pry further? Oh, did something happen to them? Kind of seems like it. I'm here if you'd like to talk about it. I'd like to talk about something else. Let's talk Deep about breaths. it. breaths. Thank you. I just need some time to relax. <sighs> Aw. Okay. It's like having a panic attack. Okay, that's better. I'm really sorry about all this. Don't be. I'll listen as much as much as you'd like. Thank you. Dementia. Aw. First off, my mom has dementia. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't notice at first. No one did. She seemed to be just a little forgetful. But then one day she. Aw, she's like forget who you were. It's okay. Take your time. Oh, that's so sad. I've never like really. Well, I saw my grandmother like grandmother's before she passed. She kind of like her memory was definitely like more shaky. It was really sad. Like, um, I haven't, I guess, like, experienced somebody having, like, full-blown dementia, but it was always really depressing, you know, and she would, like, ask me about, like, high school when I was in college and stuff. It's just so, so upsetting. It's okay, take your time. She forgot. She forgot who I was. That's awful, I can't imagine. It's hard. Dad, too, I can't count the number of times she's thought we were trespassers. Oh man, that's awful. That's so sad. Sometimes she remembers just fine, but... She might not even know her daughter is missing. Aww. <laughs> Poor is he? That's terrible. But, but despite all that, I really want to see her again. I want to look her in the eyes and tell her I love her. I want to watch those silly shows with her as she holds me in her arms. Aww. That's all I want. I want my family back. Aww. Or see, I... Her. I don't know if she would forget her more, like, being separated from her for a while, too. That's awful, man. Hey. Mr. Enigma, what do you think your mom did when she found out you were missing? And knowing her, she'd probably... She's probably bothering the police as we speak. She won't ever give up, that's for sure. Yeah. And I know my mom would be the same if it weren't for her disease. What about your dad? Where's he? 
He died when I was young. I'm sure, but I'm sure if he were alive, he'd be right there with my mom. I'm trying to wonder like about Enigma's dad, you know, like, I feel like he could be connected somehow. It's like, it's saying he's dead, but it's like, is he really dead? <laughs> it just makes me wonder, <laughs> like question everything. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mr. Enigma. I was like, I don't even know if Enigma's really like, well, I guess he probably doesn't remember his dad at all. Cause yeah, he died when he was so young. I don't think, we haven't seen pictures of his dad yet. It'd definitely be interesting too. Hey, Mr. Enigma. Yeah? So, um, how are we gonna get out of here? The only thing we can do, we fight back against who put us in here, Wolfie Chan. Well, but that's easier said than done, isn't it? What would be your mom's advice? Hmm. Um, she'd probably ask how I let some idiot kidnap me in the first place. <laughs> but then I think she'd say, beat the snot out of those bad guys, or mom will do it for ya. Aw, that's so sweet. I feel so bad for her, that's so sad. Then there's your answer. I do like how um, unique it is though. It's like definitely a good uh, backstory until like a lot of thought was put into it. We find them and beat them up? Yeah, we'll beat them into the next week. On second thought, maybe we should let Yaxi and Gris handle them. <laughs> no, let's do it ourselves. We're the, we're the really buff ones. I'm the ultimate boxer too, maybe. I bet they're not that tough behind all those weapons. Plus anyone that hides their face is probably a coward. You're brave. <laughs> You're brave, hee <laughs> hee. I'm glad I got to talk with you like this. It really helped. If that's your plan, then I'll keep fighting until I'm standing by your side at the end. Aww. And it won't be just me. It'll be all of us. Yeah. And that doesn't only include Mr. Twin and the others. Mom will be helping too. That's the spirit. Family really does mean everything. Mom, when I come home... Aww. Even if you forget me completely. That's so sad, yeah. I bet she probably would. That probably would affect her, like, seeing her even less. Like, make her forget even more. Oh, that's so awful. I bet she's so stressed being here. I'll always love you. Oh, that's so sad. Poor Rizzy. <laughs> that was so depressing. Would you like to talk about something else? Sorry. No, um, I'd rather just be on my own. I'm sorry, Mr. Enigma. Poor Rissy, it must be hard. Aw. Deep. That makes sense. Kind of, sometimes you just want, you know, just want people to, like, show interest in, like, comforting you, you know? And second thought, maybe we should let Yaxi and Gris, Yaxi and Gris panel them. I think that's kind of hard sometimes, because it's like, you don't know if somebody wants to be, like, really wants to be by themselves, or if they, like, want to be comforted. It's kind of a hard situation. Uh, I am you me all motivated Aww. for a moment there. <laughs> I can kick some ass. You just wait. I got the dentist drills. I'm coming at you, Foxy Chan. But I understand why you'd be scared. We don't know what they could do. Scared? Hold up. I take it back. I, c I can handle them. It's all right. You made your Aww. point. Go ahead. Hey, could you crouch down? I can't reach you. Uh huh? Huh? I'm sure what Rissy had in store for me. I slowly but cautiously did as she asked. <laughs> you gonna fight me? <laughs> Before I could ask what you had planned, I felt a soft palm pat the top of my head. Aw. There, there. Aww. It's okay to be scared. <laughs> it's like, I'm like always so off. <laughs> like, she's totally gonna fight me. She's like, you don't think I'm tough? I'll show you tough. Now that makes a lot more sense. She's, she's a sweetheart. She just wants to comfort me. Pat, pat. Aw. This is just embarrassing. <laughs> I can almost see the blushing. <laughs> that is so freaking cute. Aw, good old Rissy. Ah, uh, Rocky Rowe. We already kind of know some of his backstory. I guess we don't really know who Rock holds the most dear, though. Oh, yeah, I might, um... Look at the chat a little bit, too. Oh, thank you, Cross, for coming in. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks, Cell, for uh, coming up on, or like, you know, hanging out too. I appreciate you guys supporting. And thank you so much for making this awesome fan game. It's so fun. Oh, it's the cabin again. It's here within the confines of my dreams that I share the same space with someone else. Ah, there's a, here's a sight for sore eyes. Hey, Rock, what's up? Are you gonna tell me some puns now? <laughs> Not much. Ah, oh, thank you. I love you for uh, saying that. I appreciate you uh, enjoying my DDLC playthrough. That was game was so much fun to play. Not much. Just looking around, it's not bad here. 
Yeah, it was a comforting vibe. It has a comforting vibe to it. Well, except a few things. I pointed to the framed picture of Rule and the Monokuma plushies. What do you mean? These are adorable! Look at me in my little my little mermaid outfit. So cute! Don't worry. Don't let it get to you too much. It's just decoration. Yeah, but what if the plushies come to life or something? Oh, you'd like that? Me and my me and my swimsuit. No. <laughs> that won't happen, so. Look out! There's one coming straight for you! Where? Get back! <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> hey, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> kind of gullible like Pocket. <laughs> I I almost wound up in the hospital like this one guy I know. Is it a friend or... Yeah. A friend. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you guys. Ah, oh, the voice of Chris. Oh, thank you, Tunnelberg. Ah, oh, nice. I thought somebody say uh, Scarlet's PA is here too. That's so awesome. Thanks, guys. Ah. Thanks for rating me. That's so sweet. Hope you guys are having a good day too. And thanks so much for um, you know, putting um so much effort into this project. You guys do such a good job like doing the voices. Like everything sounds so like legit, you know? Like I don't know, it's so nice. It makes me feel like I'm playing like an actual Danganronpa game. Like even watching the videos too, even though I'm not like actually playing it, I'm like, I feel like I'm still like in the Danganronpa world. Like I still feel so immersed. Like you guys do such a good job like recreating it. So I appreciate, I really appreciate all the work you guys put in. Thanks so much for supporting the stream too. That's so sweet. <laughs> a friend, yeah. They were admitted because they ate three, <laughs> three horse figurines. Oh <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Is your friend a dog? <laughs> You're mean. Almost went out of the hospital yeah. like some guy I know. It's like, <laughs> alright, are you talking about <laughs> are you talking about a dog? <laughs> Luckily their condition is stable. <laughs> um You see. There's this other friend I know. He Stop, please, stop. <laughs> you got what you deserve. Was it a pun? Yes. Okay, three horse yeah. figurines. Yeah. My friend. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a pun. <laughs> Luckily, their condition is stable. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I get it, totally. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about a dog. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Rock, we're cool, yeah? Uh, cool, I, I hope so. Then you won't mind if I ask you something that could hurt your feelings. <laughs> stop saying the stupid pun jokes, Rock. Uh, I, I guess not. He looks like he's about to get his feelings hurt. Great, listen, man. I wrapped my arms around I wrapped my arms around Rock's shoulders and pulled him in a little closer. Do chicks dig that kind of thing? Puns, I mean? Well <laughs> Well, I don't know. Some do, I I think. I, I don't think Cancel does. <laughs> and I feel like she's the one you're trying to get the attention of. I feel bad if he is, because she definitely likes Pocket. I do ship her more with Pocket too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, there's a few I can think of. Um, I see, I see. Maybe learning a few puns will come in handy one day. Come on. I can teach you some if you'd like. <laughs> sure, man, I'll I'll think about it for forever. Rock and I broke our quiet conversation and sat on the couch. But what made you want to ask that? I heard from someone that Corsa laughed at one of your puns when we first got here. <laughs> one person. <laughs> one person laughed at one of your twenty jokes. I figure that if one person enjoys them, there's got to be others out there. You said you know some girls who like them, right? Oh, uh, oh so this is what this is about girls, huh? It, it's nothing like that. <laughs> Try some out on rocks. I don't know if she's going to like them. I don't feel like... It. I don't know if anybody in the uh, killing game besides, I guess, Korza seems like really appreciates them so far. Okay, it's something like that. I kind of feel bad for Rock, though. He just wants to cheer everybody up, you know? But it kind of just ends up annoying people. I'm just uh, I'm just broadening my horizons. I could learn a, a thing or two from you. It's, it's totally not to flirt with rocks. If a girl loves puns, you gotta be the perfect man. You're so kind to everyone, after all. A sweet guy who can make a girl laugh. Damn, that's a dangerous combination. If you say so. <laughs> that was a cute one, too. What's wrong? Well, it's just that it's never really been that way for me before. Sure, some girls like my puns, but none of them have been interested in me like that. Well, I guess there was this one girl. Oh yeah, tell me about her. Listen to this. I would see her at some of my school clubs. She'd sit next to me just to hear my puns. 
She laughed so much her stomach would start hurting. <laughs> oh, you look so sad talking about it, though. But I guess it was my fault. We never stayed friends because... I kind of started liking her. Oh, no, did she return you down? And she didn't like you back? <laughs> well, at the time, she said she did. But then out of the blue, she said she needed to go home and think some things over. Uh oh. The next day, she told me I was a sweet and funny guy, but she wanted to stay friends. But I promise it doesn't bother bother me. I'm I'm happy so long as others. <laughs> Poor Rock, dude. I feel bad. If he really does like cancel too, he's totally gonna get friend zoned as well. <sighs> oh, it's so sad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking in the chat. Minisa, shout out to Cole for being the reason the project still lives. <laughs> so you don't know exactly what you guys are talking about, but thanks, Minnie. <laughs> if you say so, there must be a part of you that was upset. I don't know. I feel like the top ones have been the right answers so far. But I feel like it kind of makes more sense to say that. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't want to like... What's the word? Uh, admit to it. Uh, I'll just do the top one. Nope. Yep, I. <laughs> oh, this one's cute too. I definitely wasn't upset at all. I don't cry my sleep. Some don't cry myself to sleep every night. Was that sarcasm? Nope. Nope. I was perfectly fine with her breaking my heart, shattering it into a thousand pieces. Enigma. I love it. You're you're scaring me now. Pretty please. Please teach me. Huh? Come on, man. Please, teach me how to talk to girls, Enigma. You must know how it works, right? I gently patted Rock on the back. Are you sure you're ready? I don't know if Enigma really knows how to talk to girls, too. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Then prepare yourself for rigorous training, my student. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> the training commenced without delay. It was tough, but I somehow taught Rock a few tricks on flirting with women. However, there was something that lingered in the air. It was almost like... Rock was ready to open up to me, but I missed the opportunity. I totally screwed up. Okay, I kind of... It did seem better. All the top, all the right answers from the top ones so far, I was like, I don't know. But there must be part of you that was upset. Oh, There was, wasn't there? Yeah. I liked her. I... Really liked her. And she... Broke my heart. I wonder if, like, um, because he comes from that village, like, area, you know, where they have, like, a big, um, kind of, like, divide with the city people. I wonder if she was, like, a city person and, like, she couldn't date him because, um, because of, like, that kind of, like, uh, I don't know, whole, like, dispute that was kind of going on between their towns. That's the only thing you can think of because it seemed like she liked him, you know? She was, like, laughing a lot and, you know, he was, like, it seemed like she liked me, but I don't know. It's all I can really think of is that, yeah, she, like, was like, oh, I'm not sure, and shocked her parents or something, and they were like, how dare you, you know, like, uh, I don't know, date somebody from that town, but that was just kind of my idea. I guess I just lost my confidence since then. Aww. We've all been through it, man. But you don't have an issue with girls, do you? Well, I'm not looking for anybody right now, but no, I don't. Oh, look at me. <laughs> look at how adorable I am. My blue wavy hair. God, I'm so cool. Getting rejected is a part of life, but we can't let ourselves be crushed by that overwhelming weight of defeat. That's easier said than done. Listen, man. Huh? This is how you become... Is this how you become the ultimate geologist? By giving up? No, but that's different. No, it's not. Do you know how many people out there are struggling even to find work right now? Thousands, if not millions. As much as we'd love it to be true, the world doesn't hold your hand. Dang, Enigma. Tough love. I guess he's right, though. We have no choice but to rise against these things that hold us down. You made to the top of your field by never giving up. But there are people out there that want to work but can't. They try and try, but nothing comes of it. Some give up, but some keep picking themselves back up. Which one are you, Rock? You're right. Gotta be an immovable Rock. Get it, Rock? <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it. You're right. Here I am, in Ultimate. And there's people out there who are way tougher than I am. You're human. We all are. Even so, they're struggling to pay the rent. And here I am complaining about talking to <laughs> girls. Yeah. It was one rejection. Just one. Yeah, rejection's still hard, though. I think I'm ready to try again. I want to give myself more chances. Here you go. But 
Maybe don't ask how cancel. <laughs> I, I think she might turn you down. That's the spirit. Do you think you could be there if I need help? Yeah, I'll be your wingman. You bet. No, you have to do this on your own. <laughs> Get lost, loser. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks, Enigma. That means a lot. I can't, I can't, uh... I can't help it if they fall in love with me, though, while I'm trying to wingman for you, buddy. Anything for a friend. Hey, maybe if I get a date after we leave here, we can go on a double date. <laughs> Slow down, man. I haven't got a girl yet, either. And we're in this thing together. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> hey, Enigma, let's use this killing game to pick up chicks. How about this? <laughs> you help me with girls, and I'll help you with puns. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and second thought, maybe we should skip the puns. <laughs> Aw, cute. Okay, I ended up doing that, both of his, since uh, I screwed up. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, I was like, I feel like Rock still kind of gives me some death vibes, but I don't know. I was like, I feel like him and Quarz are kind of the ones I'm leaning towards dying first. I guess we'll have to see. I think, well... No, I don't think Scarlet will die. I'm trying to think of who else kind of gives me like death flags. I feel like it's mostly those two that kind of give me the biggest death flags. Especially since we already kind of got like some backstory with Rock like in the um, main game, you know? I kind of feel like, oh no, they're giving him a backstory. <laughs> uh oh. Are we learning everything we need to learn about you because it's not, we're not going to get the chance to later? Kind of makes me worry, but we'll see. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a killing game? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so true. It's not wrong. Poke, Watermelon. Poke. Uh, um, poke, poke. <laughs> when the confines of a dream, I share the same space with one of the others. Okay, rocks is the watermelon. And this time, the person who was irritating me with her poking is... <gasps> poke. Uh, oh, you're awake. Hey, rocks. What's up with the poking? She definitely likes Enigma. Uh, just two blueberries falling in love. That's just something I felt like doing to bother you, that's all. Real nice of you. Anywho. Anywho, what are we doing in here? I don't remember this room. It's some sort of cabin from the looks of it. I, th I, think, the, I think the wolf is shipping us together. What do you think? <laughs> oh, interesting. Do you think we've been chosen to play the sacrifice game together? Talk about jumping to the worst possible scenario. Be careful. You can never be too careful, especially in here. Oh, that'd be interesting. What do you think? Like, um, have to choose who to sacrifice, or... What do know. you think? I guess we'll Careful. see. Careful. Says the girl who grabbed Monokuma on day one. Come on. Do you have to bring that up again? I'm just saying. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, you win, kid. Congrats. Anyways, we're here now, so what should we do? Huh? Game time. What should we do? Play rock, paper, scissors? I spy, Simon says. Look in each other's eyes longingly. Um, I guess we could make this interesting. Let's bond, though. You and me, rock, paper, scissors. But the winner gets something. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like how you think. Then if I win, you have to tell me the most embarrassing thing about your past. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're not getting out of this one. <laughs> I can't wait to win. Confident, I see. All right, you're on, but if I win, you owe me a date. Ah, A date? <laughs> a date? Yeah, you and me. I get to pick the time and the place. It'll be inside the walls of the killing game, though. Deal. <laughs> Very romantic. Deal, you ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. I think she'll go on a date with you either way, Enigma. Oh, we do get to play. I was wondering. Uh, I feel like I usually go with paper, honestly. I feel like a lot of times people choose rock. If we were going against rock, he would definitely choose rock. Maybe she would be a paper person. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mori Terry, for coming uh, to stop by. I finally have time to drop by. Cross and I were out last time, so we missed it. We were watching it together on a big screen, so might not type too much, but thank you for watching. Aw, uh, yeah, thank you. It means uh, so much to us and our team. We hope everyone enjoys. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for making this awesome game. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. You did such a good job. Um, like, I don't know, just like creating everything, you know? Everything looks like so good. And I love, I love Mariah Terrier too. <laughs> I love the character that has your name. <laughs> She's so awesome. She does seem like the rival character so far. But yeah, I appreciate uh, all you guys watching and stopping by. And thanks so much for all of your hard work. Definitely want to support like in any way that I can. Oh yeah, let's, uh, I'll do paper. 
Fuck yeah! <laughs> yes, paper always wins, except when it doesn't. Who's the man? Uh, the man. Well, uh, looks like you win. So, where are you taking me, kid? Right here. Huh? huh? This is going to be our date, you and me. Right here, right now. Really? Um, you could have at least you could at least treat a girl to a meal or something. <laughs> she looks kind of upset. <laughs> the shadow. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I can arrange for that. Oh. I got my monopad right here. You can? I'll head to the dining hall and whip up whip something up. I'll be back in no time. Are you are you a good cook, <laughs> Enigma? Uh what should I do? Just sit here? I promise it won't take very long. I sprang from my seat and ran to the dining hall as quick as I could. I can kind of see why you need advice from Brock with girls so far, Enigma. In no time at all, I came back with some food. At least you're cute. That's definitely helping. <laughs> That's definitely helping you in your uh, case. Damn, man. Whoa, that was fast. What can I say? I'm a pretty fast cook. Truthfully, Scarlet was preparing a meal when I made it to the dining hall. She gave me some. So good. Aw. It looks so good, I think I'm drooling. Eat up, there's plenty where that came huh? from. There is? Again, Scarlet had offered to make me some more if I needed it. We're not gonna mention that part. Yummy. All right, now I'm glad you won. This is the best. With a snicker, I watched as Rock gobbled rocks at <laughs> Rock. <laughs> oh, you still dreaming about me, huh, Enigma? No, no, Rock, I'm talking about rocks. <laughs> I watched as rocks gobble down her meal. Looking back, it was a great time, but something felt wrong. Oh, was a Date reference? Uh, I was wondering that. I was like, this sounds like very uh, Date. <laughs> oh gosh, when uh, he said that, I was like, this is giving me Somnia vibes. That's so funny. Looking back, it was a great time, but something felt wrong. Maybe I was wrong to have doubts, but now that I think about it, I can't help but wonder what it would have happened if Rox had won our game. Oh. Okay, so I went with paper, so she did rock, so... so ah. <laughs> gotcha! Shit. You snooze, you lose. Now, now give me the most embarrassing story you got. Why does she want... Why does she want to know this stuff so badly? Give me the deets. Out with it, kid. A deal's a deal. Alright, alright, chill. These things just take time. Maybe if I lie to her, I'll get out of this. So, uh, th this one time... <laughs> I'm smart, you know. And don't even think about lying to me. I, I'll know. You're super obvious about it. How would she know that? I have no choice, do I? Fine. In high school, I did something stupid. Like? First off, I was young, okay? So don't laugh. Spill it. I won't now spill it. I had this friend at school. He and I were doing some shifty things one day, and... Jail time, kid? <laughs> It's jail time? Shifty things? What kind of shifty things? Do I need to turn you in, kid? <laughs> we were bad kids, okay? Sue me. Anyways, we stole some alcohol from a local convenience store and... No way! <laughs> I'm arresting you right now. I don't know if you can in the killing game. You stole alcohol? How old were you again? Isn't, isn't stealing it just as bad no matter how old you are? We stole some beer and poured it into our water flask for school. Suffice to say, he and I both wound up face planting on our desk that day. <laughs> that is before I, uh, I tried to kiss the principal. Oh my god. <laughs> In my defense, she was really hot. Huh? <laughs> huh? I, I, I was so drunk. I was gonna say it was like, that is not a good idea getting drunk at school when you're like 16. <laughs> what was I thinking? I was only 17. The principal suspended us from school for a while after that. My friend got caught in the girl's bath. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> it didn't take long for it to get around to get for it to get around either. People were laughing for weeks. You <laughs> tried to make out with your principal. Oh no. <laughs> How old were they? Hey, you know, 90, 50 something. 50? I have no words that can forgive my actions. The <laughs> poor principal, dude. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, but I wonder, like, were they gonna, like, juvie for that if they got caught? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing, but. <laughs> <sighs> I bet you did something embarrassing in high school, too. I mean, sure, but nothing like that. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Ugh, this chick. 
Why is she so cute? Tell me a story from your high school. Pat and walk out on her. Ha! You slipped up. You didn't say it had to be mm. embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my coolest story ever. Shit, she's right. I, I, I take it back. No, too late. I'm telling my story. <laughs> when I was in high school, I saw this dumbass 17 year old get drunk and try to make out with his principal. Uh, Since you're such a moody boy, I'll make it a nice story. Take a load off. Rock slid on a sigh and shifted both her legs so she could lay across the couch. Now, this had to have been when I was 16? Yeah, for sure. I wonder how close all these, like, characters live to each other, too, you know? I mean, it seemed like they all went to college together, but I guess they could have been, like, I guess pretty far away, because I don't think we would have really known. Well, it definitely seemed like we knew each other as some, well, yeah, we probably went to, like, college together, right? And that's where we got our ultimate titles. That's what I'm assuming, at least. Before, I'm sure we grew up, like, in different counties and stuff. She wouldn't go to the same one as, uh, same one as, uh, Rox. Or, he wouldn't, yeah, go to the same one as Rox. Now this, now this had to have been when I was 16? Yeah, for sure. And this guy had been dating since middle school. Well, aren't you cool? You know the cliche story. Guy and girl become friends at a young age. As they get older, realize they like each other. Is this your person? Well, things didn't work out between us. Oh, dang. It's such an ominous looking sprite. It shocked me, too. I figured we'd last a hell of a lot longer. Hmm. What happened? He cheated on oh. me. Oh. Asshole got caught by yours truly making out with another girl. Dang. What makes it worse is that the girl was my friend. Oh, wow. Sounds like a goddamn soap opera. For real. Anyway, the guy got sick of me. Said to my friend that I'm too clingy. Damn, that sucks. Were you? So Dude. What if <laughs> it's not like I was checking his phone or texting him every hour. <laughs> For real? I was like, what was that enigma? The guy was just bored of me. That's all. I could tell. We'd go on dates. And when we talked, he looked as if he was spacing out on me. Yeah. He wouldn't listen. And eventually, he stopped caring altogether. I feel like that should just break up. Or like, he should just break up with her if he's not interested anymore, you know? Instead of cheating. I don't know. Maybe I really was boring. Rocks. Which is why I took a break from relationships. At least for now. Until you met me, baby. You're 21, right? So it's been five years? Damn straight. But I'm happy where I'm at. You do seem to be very successful. I got an awesome job, awesome family, and some good friends. And I got guys like you, <laughs> Enigma. Yeah. <laughs> guys, guys like me. Yeah, guys like you. What does that mean? Am I in the friend category then? <sighs> hey. Hey, do you think we'll get out of here soon? No doubt about it. Why do you ask? Oh, it's nothing. Huh? Thanks for the chat, kid. I haven't laughed that hard <laughs> in ages. After that, Rock smiled at me before going, getting off the couch and heading for the door. Now then, who should <laughs> I tell your story to first? No, don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't tell Pocket, he's gonna use that as blackmail. <laughs> of course I knew she only meant it as a joke, but I still chased her. It was fun, and I, like Rox, hadn't laughed like that in such a long time. So I guess you could say we were as bad as each other, like two kids playing tag. Sure, we were in a school, but this time, no one can hurt our feelings if we have each other. Aw, that was cute. I like Rox. Poke, poke. They're pretty cute together. Um, she chose Rock, right? So what happens if we, uh... We tie. Oh man, we both went with Rock. What happens now? Damn, the worst possible outcome. Uh, wanna go again? Sure. Okay, so you just keep. Aww. <laughs> she always choose Rock. <laughs> the worst possible outcome. Sure. Okay, so what was the other? Where was the other one? I think it was when I did um, when I lost, right? Ha. Oh yeah, pout and walk out on her. Aww, this one didn't seem uh, like it'd be a super fun, super fun option though. Oh, where are you going? I didn't see much of rocks after that, mostly because I avoided her at every turn. She said I was being a baby, but all I wanted was for her to feel bad, <laughs> feel bad for me. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I just hope she doesn't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, this Ak Aku talk. It's probably gross, right? Yeah, I was like, how is she boring? Like, she seems super nice. Like, uh, just really doesn't seem boring at all. 
Yeah, I feel like, yeah, if you, like, what's the point of cheating? If you lose interest, just, like, break up, for real. That's how I feel, too. It's like, what? Like, what's the point in staying together if you're, like, not happy? It's, like, so much worse on the other person to cheat, you know? And here, within the confi confines of a dream, I share the same space with one of the others. Since I found myself in this cozy room once again, I decided to take a long nap. It was weird to sleep while inside a dream, but it felt good and I was, it was definitely needed. Laying back, I stretched my arms over my head before moving my body towards the table. The first thing I felt was the warmth from the fireplace. Naturally, my head turned toward it. The embers flickered, almost like they were dancing. I couldn't help but smile. I wish this were my dorm room. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be you, Chris, but <laughs> I guess I shouldn't complain. What we have is better than nothing. It seems like a pretty nice cabin. They did a good job uh, designing it too. I always kind of wonder how you make like uh, this kind of, like what kind of programs you use to make these kinds of like 3D designs. Mm -hmm. Hell, they could have stuck us. I was like trying to look at the carpet too. I was like, for a second it kind of looked like a lion, but now it's just like a little Victorian design. Hell, they could have stuck us out in the wilderness with no comfort whatsoever. Imagine that. Mm. <laughs> that would have been much better. Nature is cool and all, but I'd much rather enjoy a long nap on a comfy sofa like this one. Mm. With electricity. Mm. <laughs> Nature, bah. Who needs it? You're about to get murdered. <laughs> Nature really does suck. God, I hate it. I'm gonna go set a wildfire off now. <laughs> See you later, Gris. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Nature sucks. God, I feel so good in my full, in my full real fur coat. <laughs> Thinking about burning down trees. Blueberry! <laughs> Enough, Blueberry. <laughs> Is he doing this on purpose? Ah, hey, Gris. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I was totally doing it on purpose. This cannot be. Did you not notice my presence? All right, I admit it. I knew you were there from when I first woke up. You gave me a bit of a shock. Why were you staring out the window? Listen well. First, I would like to ask one crucial question, Blueberry. And so help me, Puta. <laughs> Puta? <laughs> and so help me, Puta. May you answer me, honestly. I kind of wonder... Because Monokuma did just show us, like, the the cold outside world. I'm kind of surprised Gris wasn't like, let me survive out there. I know I can do it! <laughs> it's like, uh, well, like one of those, like, survival shows. Like, they always have these survival shows, like, in Alaska, you know? I feel like... Well, here it looks like we're, like, just straight up in the Arctic, though. So it doesn't really, like, seem like there's much you can do to scavenge, really. But, uh, I can see Chris being like, I can make it out there. I can do it! Let me go, Monokuma, and rule! And so help me, Puta. May you answer me honestly. Shoot. Say it is not so. Do you dislike nature? Oh, no, no. I was just kidding around. I wanted to get a reaction out of you. I see. So you do not hate nature, then. Of course not. Mom and I would go camping now and again. Plus, she had this huge garden. Nature. Garden, I see. At this stage, I would give anything to lay my eyes on a small flower, let alone a garden. When you woke up, I was staring at the vast sea beyond this window behind me. I have been debating this for many an hour now. I would like your opinion. Oh, is he really thinking about that? If I were to destroy this barrier, would I be able to surpass the ocean? Oh, totally, dude. <laughs> I assume you... I assume you mean cross the water to safety? I'm honestly not so sure. I think we're in like the North Pole. Hmm. It's not like Grisk to doubt himself. Being here must be getting to him more than I thought. <laughs> like I cannot stand this electricity. Indoor heating? <laughs> Fully baked meals? <laughs> Disgusting. <sighs> he looks sad. What should I say? Do you have someone who misses you? Smash the window and get swimming, boy. <laughs> you can do it. Um, uh, I wonder, he was like holding like a tiger, like a baby tiger in one of his pictures. Oh, that'd be cute if that was like his special, uh, <laughs> special person. Um, your family, maybe a lover? My love. Yes, a lover. Oh, wait a second. Grisp has a partner? Get together, Enigma. Just calm down and ask him about it. <laughs> can you give me, can you give me some, uh, some advice, Chris. Didn't know you were such a ladies' man. Do you mind telling me about them? Maybe if we spoke about it, it might make you feel better. Uh -huh. Aha. Ah, I've heard of this. You are attempting to get to know me, correct? <laughs> Trying to get my underwear, as they say in Tangadrampa. Something like that. Very well. On this occasion, I will allow it. Flora. Ah, oh, my lover's name is Flora. It's like another name for. It's like the Latin word for flower or something. I feel like it. 
Flora. Oh yeah, I'm excited to do Anons, dude. We like barely know anything about him. Yeah, Cross will be fun too. I'm just kind of reading the chat a little bit too. A lot of people like uh, Cross is the best. Interesting. Flora. Correct. Indeed, she is captivating beyond compare. A true beauty. What's she like? She is beyond compare. Oh, much like me. Unlike most, she understands me. I first came into contact with her while hunting. I recall the weather being appalling that day. Attempting to seize my prey, I had tripped while traversing a cliff. Truly. If it were not for Flora, I would have surely met my end. I still think it's a tiger. <laughs> well, he did say lover, so like, uh... And it probably wouldn't make sense for I don't know I could just see there'd be like a twist but I guess lover yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't refer to like an animal like a lover <laughs> that'd be really messed up if you did. But yeah, I was like Flora Flora is plant life okay that's what I thought. As I was about to fall she caught me in her arms like a mother cradling her child. From there she carried me safely atop a mountain. We spent many months on that mountain. Flora taught me many things and eventually love. we fell in love. It's like another. Uh, Another uh, cave woman kind of girl. Sounds like one hell of a chick. Did she really catch and carry him up a mountain though? <laughs> yeah, for real, you're pretty heavy. Would it be a good idea to ask him about that? This Flora, was she strong? And then what happened? Um. And then what happened? What you would expect from any couple in love. You kept one another warm in winter, washed each other when dirty. Serenaded one another when upset. Wait, you you sang to each other? Ooh, now I'm interested. Could I by chance hear you sing sometime? <laughs> Intrigued, are we? <laughs> I am interested to hear him sing too. I can't tell if he would be good or not. One hundred percent. No, a thousand percent. I'm interested. <laughs> Just imagine him singing like, yes. <laughs> I don't know. As I appear to have piqued your interest, I shall give you what you desire. But know this, Blueberry. Once I begin my song, I shan't cease until I too oh, am no. satisfied. <laughs> this is gonna go on for hours, isn't it? This is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just screaming, bro. After the singing had begun, it showed no signs of letting up. Honestly, I don't know whether to laugh or cry or smile. That entire moment is like a blur to me now. An endless sea of confusion. <laughs> this Flora, was she strong? Stronger than any of you simple-minded city dwellers could ever imagine. When Flora came into my life, I became a new man. She made me into who I am today. But alas, it was not meant to be. Seems to be a trend with uh, all the love stories so far. Because we're trapped? Don't worry about that. We'll find a way out of here. No, I... That is not what I meant. Did she break up with you for another... For Tarzan? Huh? Flora and I... Drifted apart. Oh, I see. In nature, there are... Too many temptations. Temptations? I betrayed Flora. You cheat on Flora? Betrayed, does he mean? That look you're giving me <laughs> is just like hers. Did you did you cheat on her? I feel like there's gonna be a twist to this. Cheat? Is that what you call it? <laughs> if so, yes, I did. That's dishonorable. Do not fret, Blueberry. Or I already know that. I don't really take risks for being a cheater. I feel like I feel like there's gotta be a twist. But why? Who could have tempted you so much that you would do such a thing? Her name was Saris. Saris? Wait. Grisp, these girls, are they Girls? How <laughs> dare you place them into such a category? <laughs> they uh, oh no! Oh wait. Oopsie. I guess I'll go ahead and save. I didn't mean to uh I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll do girls? This. How dare you place them into such a category? They are not girls. <laughs> they are goddesses. Uh, what is this, dude? Are they just your imagination or something? I thought so. Temptations <laughs> did not end there either. Again and again, I moved from one goddess to the next. What does uh, Ceres mean again? I was like, I know Flora's like a yeah, plant. I was like a hungry lion, <laughs> forever awaiting its next meal. This is why 
I must defeat Poseidon and cross the sea to my dearest Flora. I must beg for her forgiveness once more. If I try hard enough, I know I can get through to her. <laughs> I had a feeling yours is gonna be Mimi Gris, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my Flora, I am so sorry. <laughs> Flora! Let me sing for you again, Flora. Um, poor Grisp. He never did stop crying after that. He wailed and wailed some more. In the end, I'm not even sure if I learned anything new about him. Or maybe we're the delusional ones and this all actually happened. Perhaps. But there's no way to know for sure. Oh, he's referencing actual gods. I was like, is he literally just imagining this shit? <laughs> maybe, maybe there are a bunch of babes in the forest, you know? Who are we to judge? Did I, did I do all of this? I think I did. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, smash the window and get swimming. Blueberry, do you think? Do you think I am able? <laughs> Just gonna send him to his death. Absolutely, if your heart's in it, that is. Uh. My, my heart. Yes, yes, I, I can feel it. Here we go. Power. The power is swelling up within me. It is like a raging fire within my breast. Go, Gris, break down those barriers and never look back with your breast. <laughs> <laughs> Structure of man, know this! You shall contain me no longer! With his fist clench, Gris steadied himself for what happened to be an incredible punch! Stand back! Now then, bear witness, Blueberry, as I conquer the sea before us! But it didn't pay off. The one day away is far too strong to be broken. What, what does he make these things out of? A titanium. A see-through titanium that exists, apparently. I remember that being the last time I saw Gris smile for when he failed to escape. He was never the same again. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, I think I did everything else. This one's cherry chocolate chip. Who is this one? Mystery. Oh yeah, I guess um, I feel like that might be Anon. Whiskey. Grape sorbet. Orange sorbet. Birthday cake. The ultimate, the ultimate ice cream. Okay, we can do cherry chocolate chip. Oh, really? I thought that she would be the orange one. Huh? Who's there? When I came to, the first thing I noticed were a beautiful, a pair of huge and beautiful eyes looking at me with concern. What did you think it was, <laughs> perverts? It was Scarlet. This time she's shared this space with me. You see, it's here, within the confines of a dream where I occupy the room with one of the others. With her comforting voice rousing me from my slumber, I sat upright and stretched. Huh? That's what I noticed. A blanket fell to the floor when I moved. Wow. You looked cold sleeping there, so I got you something warm. Hope you don't mind. Oh, thanks for that. The fireplace would have been enough, though. You were shivering, Innie. Sorry, but I couldn't risk my favorite guy catching a cold. I'm your favorite now? <laughs> what are you saying, silly? You've always been my favorite. What? Don't tell me you think that I'm that kind of woman, do you? You're totally just flirting with all of us. She's very smart, though. I feel like, yeah, she's using her, her good looks to seduce us and get information and stuff. No, no, that's, that's not it at all. If I'm your favorite, then that's an honor. I'm dating you and Rox now. <laughs> Great. When those words left me, I noticed a glass with a deep red beverage placed on the table. Oh, you're always drinking. <laughs> oh, that's yours. I figured since you'd wake up eventually, we could spend more time together. What is what is it, wine? It's to die for. <laughs> Only the best wine you've ever laid eyes on, Annie. That's your other strategy, get us all drunk. Not sure if you noticed, but I have some in my room. I have a huge, huge wall full of it. Rule left them for me. Isn't that sweet? Not sure if I'd ever call him that. The hatch, huh? Well, drink up, and I'm sure you'll change your mind. Curious about something, I turned around to peer outside the window. It's the middle of the day. Are you sure we should be drinking? And day drinking's the best, Denny. Who cares? And we're trapped in Nowheresville. Who cares? <laughs> also, we're kind of in a killing game, so maybe getting drunk isn't the uh, the, the best idea. Huh, good point as any. I feel like... I bet she's not even drinking any of the wine, she's just giving it to us. So I take a swig of the wine. Oh, this is good. It's probably one of those sweet wines. Only the best for my innie. Now then, since we're here, let's talk. As for the topic, let's talk about you. Me, what would you like to know? Everything. 
Oh, just about anything, really. What food you like, your favorite music, or how about your job? That sounds like a fun one. I'm just kind of a gas station worker. <laughs> Talking about my job isn't the most exciting topic in the world. How should I respond to that? I guess we could talk about my boring job. How about we talk about you instead? Yeah, let's talk about you. Me? Me? But that's no fun. That can't be true. I'm sure you have plenty of stories to tell. Aww. Well, maybe, but I really don't mind talking about you. Now, we can talk about me some other time. Boo. Boo, fine. What would you like to ask? Since you mentioned my work before, let's start with that. How's your job? She's like a toxicologist? Oh yeah, she's also like a model or something too, it seems like. Which one? You have more than one? Seriously. I may be a toxicologist, but I also do some modeling on the side. Can you blame me? And definitely not. It's the truth. If I'm being honest with you, Annie, I prefer modeling over toxicology. Modeling makes me feel alive. I have the world's eyes on me. I've gained many fans because of that job. One of which was, well, um, what happened with your fans? I, um, I dated one of them, so I slid into the DMs. It didn't work out, I assume? Yeah, man, you guys all are having bad luck with love, especially Gris, man. <laughs> the tragic heartbreak that he faced. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've stopped drinking after an incident when I was 17. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be great. <laughs> This is the best time to drink. I need something. I can understand that too, but I don't think I'd want to drink if, uh, I don't know, now with more I Terry walking around. <laughs> She's kind of dangerous. I... I guess, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell exactly how dangerous she is, but being in a killing game in general, you know, it just feels kind of dangerous. I want to stay single for as long as possible. People tend to buy more of your stuff if they think you're available. But he was different, a real man, not like those other perverts. I never thought I'd see her accusing other people of being perverted. <laughs> I love how, like, Rissy is, like, kind of scared of her. <laughs> the part's always pretty funny. But I guess this means Pocket doesn't stand a chance. Tough luck, man. So, why didn't it work out between you two? I liked him, but I never loved him, you know? I was a firm believer that there's someone out there for everyone, but he came... And he came close, but... It didn't work, so I dumped him. Not much else I can say. Love is a difficult thing. You could have fallen for him more over time. Uh, not likely. He might not have been like other guys, but there was... Don't worry about it. Uh, what? <laughs> it wasn't to be. After him, I ended up dating a few other guys, but none of them worked out either. What was up with him? See, he... Was he... Wolfie-chan, but... <laughs> the voice of Wolfie-chan? I always jump to such crazy conclusions. <laughs> I soon came to realize that true love just doesn't exist. That's depressing. Guys, come and go, but once you get past that fun phase, it's all pointless. <sighs> Maybe I'm just not dedicated enough. No, it's not that. The right man has just been standing is <laughs> has just been standing in front of you. Can I tell you what I think of true love? <laughs> it's me, baby. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm excited to do that one, but I'll do this one first. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think true love can come in many forms, but the best way to tell if you found the one is this. Well, I think it's a feeling that's so powerful that the world around you stops moving. All of your attention is on that one person, the one that makes you happiest. But most importantly, you put their happiness above your own, even if it costs you down the line. Talking from experience? Well, no, but that's what someone once told me. I guess his mom told him that. Look, the point is, I don't think you have a problem. You just haven't found the one yet. Any... Answer me honestly. Do you ever think that a person will come? Of course. I know they will. And he's right in front of you, baby. <laughs> what makes you say that? Because I know that I'm standing here right... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Because behind that powerful woman in front of me is someone with a heart of gold. When we first met, do you remember what you did? You stopped me from potentially causing, to... causing distrust amongst the group. From the beginning, you've been looking out for everyone around you. Strangers, no less. If you care so much about people that you just met, a guy will come, come along in no time. And when they do, I guarantee you they'll see you as I do. Any. I... Hmm. I promise you, just focus on being yourself. Uh. Scarlet didn't say much after that. She tried to, but the words never came to her. At first, I wasn't sure if I upset her or not, but then she said these words. Thank you so much. Aw, blushing. With a gorgeous smile, Scarlet was as radiant as ever. 
You'll find true love, Scarlet. Never give up. Aw, oh, cute. Jerry tackle Chip. Let's see. How about we... I guess we could talk about my boring job. I'm sure it can't be that dull, hon. Come on, spill the beans. What do you do? It, it really isn't anything special like you, all of you. Any. Whatever it is, I promise you it won't be... I promise you it won't matter to me. I won't judge. And so I told Scarlet about my job. I felt like it was the most boring topic on Earth. On Earth, but she... She sounded so interested and it made me smile. Scarlet's certainly not the easiest to get a read on, but I'm starting to think she may be one of the most kind-hearted people here. Aw, yeah, she does seem... She does seem nice. She just seems very... I guess she's very, like, um... Smart and kind of, like, calculating, maybe? I guess I'm just still kind of hung up on the whole, like, her pretending to be the mastermind to get, like, my reaction and stuff. Makes me wonder about her. I always feel like she's kind of calculating stuff when she, like, acts a certain way. Because I feel like, um, uh, it makes sense that she would use her looks to try to, like, get on people's... Kind of like, uh... Not like man I don't know if, like, manipulate's the right word, but kind of, like, read people better and kind of, like... I feel like she's doing it for the right reasons, like, she just wants to kind of, like, find the mastermind and stop this, but she still puts a lot of thought into, like, her actions, you know? I feel like she's a very smart person. <laughs> but she might be one of the most kind-hearted people here. When the conversation was over, though, I really wanted to ask more, something more about her. Before I knew it, the dream had ended. The dream was over, baby. Okay, let's ask her out. <laughs> No, it's not that. The right man has just been standing in front of you. <laughs> Do you really, really think, think so? <laughs> oh, I know so, baby. If Pocket doesn't stand a chance, then it's my time to shine. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Pocket. Prove it. <laughs> Go on a date with me. You got yourself a deal. Oh, then <laughs> where are you taking me? <laughs> Be right back. I'm gonna get some food. Oh, shit. Scarlet's not there to give me free food. Damn it. <laughs> Um, well, start with a meal at a nice restaurant somewhere. Maybe see a movie and then we can... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna no, say. Unoriginal. <laughs> I was like, I don't think that's gonna impress her. She seems very picky. Listen, hun. I've done all of that before. What I need is something new and exciting. Let me think. How about we go horse riding? That sounds fun. Horses? It was at that moment that the memories came flooding back. When I was small, mom took me horse riding for the first time. Before I even got on the horse, it must have hated me because it flung me onto the ground. But not just any ground, it was a ground full of horse shit. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, maybe we don't do that. Uh, actually, uh, I think Pocket will go on that day with you. To this day, I think I get a whiff of that stench on my clothes. I can smell it now, it's it's in the air. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Vomits on her. You look sick. D d do you smell that? Smell what? The memories, they're coming back, Scarlet. You don't smell it. I'm sorry, Scarlet, but I gotta go. We can we can talk about this later. We never did talk about it again. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Annie. Mystery. Whiskey. Grapes. I can't believe she wasn't orange sorbet. I thought for sure. I was just going off of Grisp's uh, nicknames, though. Oh, the reason Enigma's report card has a dislike for horses. <laughs> oh, nice. I kind of forgot about their dislikes. I need to, um, I need to, uh, go back and look at some of those. I like that you guys explain them, because, yeah, the ones I'm talking about, like, the mainline games, they never explain. Like, I think Oma hates, like, chicken feet or something, and it's, like, I think, it, I think, I feel like it was something random like that, and I was like, that was never explained. <laughs> like, I love how we were all making, like, videos before V3 came out, like, looking at the likes and dislikes and being like, why does Kaede hate bicycles? <laughs> like, when she was, when she was 16, wait, how old she in the game? When she was 12, she was in a bicycle accident, very traumatic for her, she broke her toe. We'd all come up with, like, crazy theories. <laughs> Mystery. I woke up in the usual spot in the usual place, with the confines of a, within the confines of a dream. I share the space with all the others. Oh, Anon! I kind of thought that it might be you, since it was mystery. I'm excited to see yours. What am I supposed to say to this guy? Oh, you know, I almost wore my bunny hoodie today. That would have been good. Maybe I'll wear that next stream, so uh, I can match Anon's little bunny. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to this guy? Um. 
I sat there for what seemed like a lifetime. I love Anon's voice too. I think like it's also because you don't hear it that often. So like when you do hear it, it's just like so satisfying. Every time I try to say something to Anon, I struggled. Why am I having so much trouble? I'm shocked he hasn't up and left already. I guess he might like the silence. That must mean he wants to talk, right? So maybe he's uncomfortable like me and doesn't know what to say. Huh, I like your bunny sticker. Should I try talking to him again? Uh, uh. <laughs> You're boring me. <laughs> Do you come here often? <laughs> Enigma, why are you so bad at this? <laughs> Just compliment his little bird tattoo or something, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kev. I saw ice cream. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> do you do, do you come here often? <laughs> He's not gonna like that. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Come on, man. I'm trying my best. Tell me out here. <laughs> I like that one. That's I think that's a new one. With that last ditch effort to start a conversation, Anon chose to take a seat. Oh, did that work? He never did say much after that. He simply sat down and waited. What he was waiting for, I cannot say. All I knew was this. This guy sure is tough to crack. Okay. <laughs> I kind of thought the silence might work on him. Um, uh, this is a good talk, man. He looks uncomfortable, but for some reason he seems less irritated. Is now the right time to say something then? In the mood to have some fun? <laughs> I guess it might be the time to say something. You're kind of weird, Anon. I don't know how to talk to you. In the mood to have some fun? Bye. No! <laughs> I'm stuck in talking to this guy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought I thought we could play charades to pass the time, man. <laughs> oh, is that what you... <laughs> Do you think I wanted to make out with you? Yeah, so can we talk now? This is kind of like the love hotel, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. Well. Here, what do you think this means? I figured he'd give me a challenge, but instead he simply waved at me. Uh, good goodbye. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I've been dumped. <laughs> ha, that was easy. My turn! Hold on, wait a second. Are you still going to go? <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> oh, I thought I finally had him. <laughs> okay. I guess I won't be saying anything anymore in this cutscene. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop, stop the talking. What, <laughs> what do you want? I knew it. He cracked it. The awkward, the awkward silence. So silence was the key. I'll try and keep that in mind. <laughs> I definitely would not have been able to actually talk to him if it was me. I talk way too much. <laughs> I figured we might as well chat for a while since we're here and all. Uh, fine. Cool, then may I ask? First. If you want to know something about me, I get to ask you a question first. Huh? Not beating around the bush, I see. Okay, go ahead, but after I answer, you have to answer my question, deal? Fine, Fine I wanted to- I want to ask. Huh. Do you trust me? Oh, you look so paranoid. He seems kind of like a new one, too. I've really seen it. I feel like as many of his sprites, because he's so friggin' mysterious. I guess, like, I like literally thought he was dead in that one episode where like he disappeared for a second. I guess I could see him dying for a still, but I feel like Corza would be more of a red herring than he would be since we already know that he knows something about, you know, Wolfie Chan. Do you trust me? Going all in from the get go, huh? How am I supposed to answer that? From that intense glare he's giving me, something tells me he'll know if I lie. In the end, I had no choice to tell him the truth. It's harder with you than it is for the others. You've been so quiet this entire time. I hardly know but you. Do you know any of the others? Uh, don't trust what they put out, I guess. They may feign decent conversation, but how do you know they're being honest? Hmm. One of them could be planning to stab you in the back as we speak. Maybe it's true. Um. Well, aren't I right? I'll answer your question with another question. Mm -hmm. What does friendship mean to you? I have no friends. Now it's your turn to be caught off guard. I promise you'll get your answer if you answer that question. Friends are... <laughs> Everybody's simping for, for Anon. He is pretty cute. <laughs> the white-haired anime guys. Always get us. Friends are... Hmm. Come on, I'm so close to finding out something about you. 
Humans are loyal. There we go. I want to know more about like your friends in real life, you know, friends or outside of the killing game. Stand by your side through anything. They'll pick you up when you're down. They're trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. Do you consider the others to be your friends? <laughs> How naive. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I admit that there are certain people I'm not close with, but the rest of them. Guys like Rock, for example. I know we only met recently, but I can sense his loyalty. We're wingmans for each other. That's why to me, he's my friend. Maybe it has something to do with being trapped in this place. Even so, I trust him despite our situation. I feel like a lot of times situations that are like difficult or like, especially when you're like confined in like uh, circumstances, you know, like, it kind of helps you like grow closer with people. Like, um, I feel like when, like some of the worst jobs I've worked, like I bonded with the people I worked with so much because like the job was so terrible, you know? It's like you bond over your like bad situation. I see. So you're saying you don't trust me then? I was like, I wish I could say I, I wonder what, I kind of wish I could have the option to say I trust him because I'm just curious to see what he would say. Like, I guess he would know if I was lying was what um, Enigma was saying. I'll tell you this much. Hearing you speak about friendships, I trust you a hell of a lot more than before. What I'm trying to say is, talk more. Talk to me, talk to us. I understand as much as anyone that things could go haywire, but right now we're hanging in there. So the next time you're with us, try try your best to talk. We may surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> you're an interesting one, Enigma. I can barely tolerate anyone. <laughs> so since you seemed so happy to hear take on friendship. Oh, so you like me now? You get one more. Oh. One more question. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that was kind of brutal. <laughs> I hate absolutely everyone else besides you, Enigma. Really? I, I didn't expect that. But I'll take it. Okay, how about this? Tell me more about yourself, your interests and stuff. That. I guess I can. But where to start? Hey, I think his shirt says quiet. I just noticed that. I was like, he likes bunnies. <laughs> For the first time since I met him, Adon spoke without a care in the world. We talked about- we talked for what felt like two lifetimes, and you know what? It was nice. Ah, cute. I don't think I- I don't think there's any- I literally messed up so much with him that there's no other options for me to go through. I talk too freaking much. I'm sorry, Adon. I'm so sorry. Okay, whiskey. That's probably cross, I would assume. I guess orange sorbet might be more Ontario. I was like, who else is there? It's like cross, more Ontario, twin. I'm trying to think. There's somebody else that we're missing, though. Like... <laughs> I'm sure I'll see. So I'm back in the cabin, huh? The confines of my dreams. I share the space with the others. This time, so the couch opposite of me is. Yeah, cross. You seem like a whiskey kind of guy. I watched Cross intent intently for some time while he leaned on the armrest. Visibly frustrated by my presence, Cross folded his arms and looked away from me. Finally, he decided to stare back at me. Well? If you have something to say, spit it out. Huh? <laughs> You're staring. Care to elaborate why? Shit, I didn't realize I was staring at him like that. He's just so freaking cute. Sorry, I was just lost in thought. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I could say to a guy like you. Huh. A guy like me. Your demeanor is so... Hurry. Move on. I hear that all the time. This room, it gives off a cozy vibe. It's almost... It's almost romantic, don't you think? <laughs> I feel like I'm in an Otome game right now. What do you think, Ross? Of course. I can't say I disagree with you. I hope you aren't getting an I any ideas about this. <laughs> huh? No, of course not. I was just trying to make some sort of conversation. Oh yeah, cancel. I haven't done cancel yet. She's probably the next one then. What do I even say? Maybe I should try being more direct? Speaking speaking of romantic, do you, do you have a type? Do you like blue hair? No. Are you hitting on me still? Are you referring to my type of woman? No, I don't. Why did you just say woman, man? <laughs> so you're saying I don't have a chance? Oh, why's that? <laughs> I love everybody sips for cross so hard whenever he comes on screen. <laughs> Um, huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. I bet you have all sorts of girls interested in you. You're loaded with crap cash, right? That's why I've been hitting on you. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. 
Cross took a small, sharp breath and sighed, and folding his arms, he began to tug at his glove. <laughs> it's a waste of time. What's the point in being with someone who will only bring you down? But if you find the right, the right person, I'm sure they'll make you happy. Really? Do you think someone such as I would have the luxury of such nonsense? I don't have time to drop everything for a partner. Besides, even if I did, all people seem to want from me is... Ah, uh, money. Well, if that's the case, what about friends and family? That is like, I mean, obviously it'd be nice to be rich. <laughs> but I can't see that it would suck to have people always trying to use you for money. Surely you have the time for them, don't you? It doesn't matter. No, no matter, I like his accent. <laughs> no matter how much time you give to someone, they don't care if they have other priorities. Huh? <sighs> you can give and give, but eventually the disappointment becomes too much to bear. What's he talking it doesn't about? matter. You yeah, have time for them, your friends and family. I guess they just care too much about work to spend time with him. Somehow I felt his sadness in the air. Could it be possible that in the brief moment of silence, Cross let his guard down? How should I approach this? No, you're wrong! I have another question. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just do another question. I think that seems safer. <laughs> What's something you love? Work aside and all. Hmm. I watched as a slight grin appeared in his face. What confused me when he followed that with a small chuckle. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's obvious. Oh. What is? It's, <laughs> it's you. Uh oh. <laughs> cross. Cross some. <laughs> dogs. Uh, dogs. <laughs> dogs, really? You're a, oh, you like animals? What That's is cute. not to love? <laughs> Not only are they loyal creatures, you can also give them as much love and attention, and they'll return it twofold. I could see how he would like dogs too, since they would love him for who he is, and not for his money and stuff as well. Wealth. Background. Nothing yeah. else matters to them but you. I can understand that. I always feel like, I don't know, like, I'm not, like, wealthy, but, like, when I, like, um... Uh, feel like bad about myself and I like hang with my cat I'm like ah oh, it's so nice that my cat he doesn't judge me for like you know any kind of like I don't know like material reason he's not like wow like you're not I don't know like it's just nice like it's just nice like animals they don't they don't care about how successful you are how successful you're not and like it's just it's so pure you know truly the most biggest companionship one can obtain is from these four-legged creatures yeah I agree. And you have a dog? Of course. Oh, is that your most loved person? That's adorable. A German Shepherd, Poppy, uh. <laughs> and a Husky, oh, Mika. Wow. <laughs> Both fine ladies. That's cute. Two dogs. I'm beginning to miss them quite a bit. I hope someone is taking good care of them. I can imagine. I thought you didn't have a time... I thought you didn't have time for anybody else. What happened to number one? I never said <laughs> I was my number one. Oh. Uh. Did I? I do it for the doggies. I suppose not. Dogs over a relationship, huh? I would never have seen that coming. You know, Enigma. Huh? Cross laid back to the sofa, folded his arms, and sternly gazed into the warm what fireplace. They say about dogs being a man's best friend is true. Aww. I kind of, kind of thought. I guess before this, I would have seen Cross as being more of a cat person, but both are cute. Cute. Just because he seems so, like, uh, you know, like, chill and refined. I could just see him, like, stroking a cat <laughs> on, like, a couch. Like, uh, like a villain, almost. <laughs> Even though he's nice. It's, like, it's interesting with Cross, because, yeah, he seems... He has, like, this very, like, intimidating, like, aura. But he's also, like, he's also really sweet. Papa huh? and Meeks. <laughs> Papa and Meeks. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> They've been keeping me company since their first day with me. There's not a thing I wouldn't do for them. <laughs> Papa and Meeks. Oh, those names are adorable. Because <laughs> I know they won't leave. That will always be loyal to one master, and that is me. No human can ever replicate the bond of trust between man and dog. With them by your side, you never feel the pain of someone leaving you behind. Hearing him speak like that was in complete contrast to our initial meeting. I couldn't get a read on him before. Now, though, with them by your side, never feel you the never pain. feel the pain of someone leaving you behind. Seems like something that happened to him. I can't read it before now, though. I think I get it. A dog will always love its owner, no matter what, right? No matter what you've been through, they don't judge. And most importantly, you're also their number one. Exactly my point. I'm glad we finally see eye to eye on something. I can understand. I love animals, too. Perhaps you're not as foolish as I thought. 
however. Honestly, I was like, I don't really... <laughs> I don't trust people that don't like animals. <laughs> like, always gotta feel that way. I listened inside as he continued talking about why he didn't trust everyone, how he still wouldn't let his guard down. Still, this conversation was enough to realize that he probably has things he misses as well. Maybe eventually I'll get to know him under better circumstances. All I can do now is hope that this awkward air between us doesn't linger for long. Ah, freaking cutie. Okay, what were the other ones? Oh yeah, he's totally gonna get pissed off about this one. <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying that you're, you're rich, dude. Because having money means I can have whoever I please. Please be my sugar daddy. <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't mean that. Everyone's the same. Money is all that you think about. Would you like me to pay for your future <laughs> expenses? Maybe then we could be best friends. I watched his cross slowly stood up, giving me one last sharp glare. He scoffed and left the room, slamming the door shut. I wonder if it was like a friend or like maybe a girlfriend or something that he thought like really cared about him and then yeah, they're just using him for his money. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned money. Oopsie. No, that's wrong. What? Family and friends are important. You should always make time for them. You shouldn't prioritize your work above those you love most. From what I can understand, it seems things are difficult for you, but even so, you should try again. You need to keep trying until things get better. It definitely seems like he's not on good terms with like his family either. I guess like um, he's an entrepreneur, right? So doesn't he probably doesn't come from like a uh, rich family. Probably made all of his money himself, so I can see him kind of like trying to use him for his money too. I could uh, suck too if they like were not good parents, like didn't really care about him, then all of a sudden when he gets rich, they're like, son, we love you so much. <laughs> Why don't you come for Christmas and give us your money? At the end of my outburst, I looked across. Foolish. <laughs> you know nothing of me, my family, nor my upbringing. What I do with my life is none of your concern. I watched his cross stood up and trudged toward the door. He's right, I don't know a thing about him. Maybe I was too pushy. Me and my big mouth. Okay. At least I did a good job talking to you. Okay, so we only got four more. Grape sorbet. He's <laughs> gonna read the uh, crosses. Back. Yeah, now crosses James Bond villain. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why, but I couldn't see him just like petting the cat, like in a chair next to a fireplace. <laughs> He's not like an evil guy. He's just so like suave. I feel like he would be like his design is like a good design for like a suave villain, you know? <laughs> I could totally see that. Grape survey. It's probably cancel. The time had come to be left alone with her. With the confines of a dream, I share the same space, one of the others. When I first spoke to her like this, she never stopped talking. Knowing full well the potential challenge that laid before me, I sat back on the sofa. <laughs> you look comfortable. I am a dick seat. <sighs> <laughs> so sassy. Fine, not like I got anything better to do. Hansel chose to sit opposite of me. Not that I expected her to sit next to me. It's a beautiful room, huh? I guess. It's okay, I guess. I bet you're used to something with a bit more class than this, right? Clearly. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. She has so many bracelets. Oh, so you're not used to this? Oh. Oh, I am. I'm filthy rich. Then why? Have some decency. Because it's no way to start a conversation with a lady, that's why. There is so much you could have said, but you chose to talk about... Oh, there's so much you could have said, but you chose to talk about my money. Listen, I know I may look like it, but I don't like to brag about my income. Right, that's my bad. Thanks for letting me know. Kind of similar to Cross in that way. Interesting, I wonder why she doesn't like discussing money. Then go. Okay, talk about something else, <laughs> then go. Entertain me, peasant. Um, if that's off the table, then what should I... Then what should we talk about? We still haven't done pockets yet, either. It's like, I just remembered that. We haven't done twin or pockets. Um, that's the table, then what should we talk about? This better be good. Oh, and this is your final chance. Make it count. Already, but you only just sat down. <sighs> I know that. I just don't have a lot of time on my hands. That's all. I got a date with pocket after this, okay? Uh, of course you don't. It's not like we're trapped in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's do this. Do you have any dreams of the future? What's your family like? I think she liked your family a lot. Um, try the family. My family. 
And she talked a lot about like, uh, I feel like she mentioned her family when she like went rambling on that first time. Did I mess up again? Hey, Enigma. Um, can't tell. Yeah? No more chances for you. Uh, uh, come on, give me one more chance. No. <laughs> but isn't it usually three strikes and you're out? Don't care. <laughs> but, -uh. uh, cancel. N -O. <laughs> you're canceled. Ah, damn it. Okay, do you have any dreams for the future? So you do have a brain. <laughs> there you go. Wasn't so hard, was it? Not at all. Nah, not at all. You made it obvious what you wanted to talk about after all. Come now. What makes you think I haven't already reached my goal? I am the ultimate diviner after all. Does she not like her talent, maybe? I think most people have something they're aiming for, even if it seems like they have everything. Promise me. I guess. If I tell you, though, you have to promise you won't laugh. I promise. No promises. <laughs> you better not be lying. I am lying. <laughs> Wouldn't dare. I definitely am. Then listen carefully. Okay, because I haven't told this to anyone. I was like, trying to think of something embarrassing <laughs> that she would want to do. I want my life to be more like a fairy tale. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. What'd you say? Ugh. I want to meet Prince Charming. A fairy what now? I actually heard what she said. I was just messing with her at this point. I want. I want. Uh-huh. A fairy tale. I want my life to be more like a fairy tale. It's like, Pocket's not very much of a prince. <laughs> a fairy tale? You mean like Disney? Obviously. You can't say that word. That's the forbidden word. I'd be the princess, obviously. And that's your goal for the future. And? Yeah, and what of it? It's just... Is that really possible? Can, can I be the prince, baby? <laughs> I don't know if Enigma really wants to be the prince. Of course not, idiot. He doesn't really seem like he likes her that much. What guy could hope to match up to the princes in those stories, though? I'm not hoping for enchanted castles, a handsome prince, and true love's kiss. What are you looking for, then? You know how, in all those stories, a man sweeps the princess off her feet? If I could ask for anything from this life, it would be that. Then what are you looking for from a guy? I want someone who can make me laugh. Aw, that's sweet. A rock's kind of, you know, trying to do it with the puns. It's just not working. I think Pocket did make her laugh. You may have noticed, but it's hard to do that. You got that right. Let's just say the guys in my life have been rather dull. <laughs> like you. So, if by chance a guy can actually make me laugh, I'll consider them. I'm pretty sure you did make her laugh. Because I remember seeing the cute little laughing sprite and I was like, Oh my god, <laughs> so adorable. Hey, cancel. Don't bother. <laughs> I don't find you funny. Damn. <laughs> oh, you do like... <laughs> Nigma just wants a girlfriend. <laughs> He's just down bad. <laughs> oh, man. Should we get along with Celeste? I can see that. So this guy, does she have to have any other... So does he have to have any other defining qualities? Other than the obvious, not really. What's the obvious? I'm not interested in men far from my age. So they'd have to be close. And they need to like cats. Oh. I like cats. Oh, <laughs> cute. But if he's poor, he's poor. Like I said, money means nothing to me. It seems like a new one to you. I see. Well, even though I'm disappointed, I can't be that guy. I hope he finds them someday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that went better than I thought, and I managed to find out Cancel's type. So her prince is a guy who can make her laugh, huh? I gotta practice my jokes. But if you narrow that down, all she wants is for a guy who makes her happy. I hope your fairy tale comes true one day, Cancel. Aw. Like, who does she love most, though? Is it just... Maybe they... Maybe when she had the paper, they just, like... She assumed it could be, like, her future soulmate or something like that? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Can I be the prince? <laughs> oh my god, she's freaking disgusted. Oh, uh, Corza likes cats? I didn't remember that. <laughs> Can I? Can I? <laughs> not likely. Sure, but not my prince. <laughs> Go ask rocks or something. I don't know. Why not? Ew. Because my prince wouldn't look so tacky. Quick Enigma, she's insulting the way you look. Fire back! I know you are, but what am I? Oh, good one, Enigma. <laughs> good. Ha, got her. <laughs> Bingo, genius. Um. <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, orange sorbet. Oh, okay, maybe that's pocket then. And then that's twin. Here I am again. Here with a confined space. Who could it be this time? Looky, looky. Uh, oh no, we saw more Terry. That's right. I was like, what is pocket? Is he, is he the last one? The mixture of all of them? I guess the ultimate flavor. It seems kind of strange for him to be that one. I was like, or what was the other one? Was there another one? I can't. No, yeah, there's twin though. The white one's next, which is birthday cake. That'd probably be twin, right? Oh, looky, this pick of rule is huge. Oh, I know who that is. I felt myself woken by an unmistakable voice. So cute. <laughs> Uh, look at the little Monokuma plush dolls. Aren't they just the cutest little things? God, I love Monokuma. <laughs> I invented him in this universe. <laughs> the voice was clearly coming from behind me, so I turned my head to find... Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, this room will, work, will do just fine. More, what are you up to? <sighs> Dude, maybe I should change this rug. It's ugly. Did you hear me? What about... Maybe just a sick red red rug instead. Yeah, that'll work. She's either ignoring me or she's so caught up in her renovations that she hasn't noticed me. Oh, 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 oh. and maybe instead of this, we can have this. How should I get her attention? I guess I'll just eat this steak of my own then. I'll jump out and scare her. Uh, would food work on her? I guess I could maybe see her. <laughs> Thank you, Cross. <laughs> I love your voice for more, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Give her like the valley girl voice. <laughs> she's so fun to do a voice for because she's so like sassy, you know <laughs> Maybe I feel like food works on most of these guys Steak? Did someone say steak? Over here what? what enigma? What you doing here? I could ask you the same. What are you planning to do in this room? Claimed it, pal. I uh, figured I could make it my pad. My dorm room is lame But enough of that. Where's the steak? All right, I, I, I ate it. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't have any. <laughs> I lied. Uh, why do you have to get a gal's hopes up like that? With a pout, Moritaro dragged her feet over to the sofa opposite of me. With a blaring sigh, she slumped on the cushion. So. And uh, why are you here, anyways? Thought I wandered into this gold mine all by myself, or in my dream, or something. I think I've been here the whole time. I'm always here. <laughs> I'm everywhere. Lame. Yeah, you must be boring me for not, you must really be boring for me not to notice ya, huh? You don't seem like the type to give others the time of day to begin with. Yeah, that must be it. Tent my crib, boy. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> like, I'll cut you some slack if you help me swag the hell out of this joint. <laughs> my crib, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I'm thinking a PC over there, a bed over there, and some rock albums over there. I'm just gonna live here from now on. It's totally fine. Did you say rock? Uh -huh. Got something stuck in those ears of yours? Of course I did. Rock gets my blood pumping. It's like, once a party starts playing, I can't help but want to party hard. It's, thinking of like the character rock, it just makes me think of like her talking about actual rock. What a coincidence, I'm a rock fan too. I was like, I feel like Enigma might make a, a, pu a joke, like a pun joke about it. Mm -hmm. You kidding? Best be careful, man. I can smell a phony fan a mile away. In fact, I'll test you right now. Who's your favorite band? Easy, Four Days Grace. It's like, it's like Three Days, wasn't it Three Days Grace, the name of it? They're pretty emo. <laughs> that makes sense for Enigma. <laughs> Give me a break. A <laughs> generic, a <laughs> fake fan. You could have said anything else, but you chose them. Heck, ABCD <laughs> would have been acceptable. Oh my god, I love the ABCDs. <laughs> let's see if you can. Let's see if you can do any better. I'm listening. Uh, waiting. Ever heard of Sinister Sisters? I don't know if I've heard of who they would be based off. Oh, I think I have actually. They were huge at one point, right? Best of the best. <laughs> yeah, they were the top of the food chain. Then all these other bands started popping off. Didn't take long for them to lose popularity, but still, I like them. They're killing it out there, day after day. I went to one of their concerts a few months ago, before all of this crap. Nice, how did that go? We got wasted. <laughs> I love her lines. Awesome. Me and some guys I know went drinking after the gig. We got wasted. By some super crazy chance, I got chatting with the lead singer at the club. 
Not sure if it was the booze, but we kind of clicked. <laughs> I dug her. <laughs> I, oh, she's like a bi or gay, I guess. I was wondering, I was like, Sinister Sisters, that would be like a female group. <laughs> she dug her. <laughs> when no one was looking, we made out. It was sweet, dude. Is that your most important person? Made out, but isn't the lead singer a... Uh, oh. Turns out behind all that badassery, she's a cute gal. Did you guys see much of each other after that? Nah, we finally met up. When I finally met up with her again, she told me it was a mistake. Aw, oh, that's a shame. I was crushing on her for weeks after we kissed. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, don't be. That's life, bud. Part of me wants to ask when she first realized she liked girls. Would that be the right thing to do? I can't tell if that'd be prying or not. So about that steak, maybe I can go cook you one right now? If you don't mind me asking, what did you notice you were into girls? I feel like she'd probably be pretty chill about it though. I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, her and Reko from here to die would be besties. Oh, I can totally see that, aw. Let me stop you there before you get the wrong idea. I'm not just into girls. I'm into guys too. Okay, I, I, I can see that, so she's by. I like chicks for as long as I can remember. Some kids would laugh at me. They'd say I was weird for liking girls. I thought they were right at first. Oh. Even ask my folks. Uh, I hope they're not like, you know. They didn't oh. really accept it. But that's another story, ain't it? That's sad. I kind of had a feeling that would probably be the case. Point is, I soon didn't give a damn what anyone said. I guess it could be why she's like so hard to. You don't have anything wrong with you if you like the same sex. Yeah, damn Actually, straight. Actually, I'd call it a blessing. Mm. Means I have more options. <laughs> and it didn't take me long to find people who accepted me. And now, lucky. The world is becoming so much more accepting of this stuff. Aw, good for you, Moritario. Out of interest. Uh. What side of the fence are you sitting on, loser? <laughs> I'm straight, but even so. Oh, I was kind of hoping Nicobo was bi, too. Damn it. <laughs> I always had canon characters as bi. <laughs> Makes shipping more fun. I think it's very cool that you know who you are. Despite everyone trying to push you down, you keep pushing back. And now look at you, you're really inspirational. Eh, nah. There are plenty of broads like me. And dudes, too. Like I said, the world's changing. Yeah, I wonder if anybody else in the game is bi. Or, uh, gay. Oh yeah, twin's gay. I think so. He has like a LGBT button. I was like, I can't remember. I don't know if he ever said anything about it, but he did have like a rainbow button. Doesn't matter, you sit up for yourself for who you are. I respect that. And to be honest, that's the most rock and roll thing I've heard all day. Aw, cute. That was cute. I wasn't really sure how Mora Terra is gonna go because she's kind of, you know, she's kind of like, I don't know, I can't read her sometimes. She's kind of scary, but she's also funny. Like, uh, I feel like she almost is gonna be like a rival character, but uh, I, I wasn't really sure how wholesome hers was gonna be, but it was really, was really wholesome. I'll jump out and scare her. I waited for the right time to spring into action. Upon twirty, turning toward the window, I put the plan into motion. Boo. Ah! I quickly realized it was a mistake. Mori Terry was falling head first towards the, oh my God, am I gonna murder her? Falling head to first towards the cabinet. She, she broke her head open and then, ooh, and then some other people came in and the dead body announcement came out and there was a, there was a crime scene. I had to frame rock, it was awful. Shit! I probably threw my body over the sofa and grabbed her just in time. Ooh. Romance in the air. <laughs> That's like a such a romance thing. Oh yeah, Yaxi was thirsty for Scarlet. That's true. I forgot about that part. Are you okay? One of my hands was holding the back of her head while the other supported her back. She must have been embarrassed because her face became bright red. It didn't take very long for me to realize I was holding her longer than I needed to. <laughs> can, can you stand? Hands off, Buster! <laughs> of course I can! Get off me, <laughs> pervert! When she composed herself, Mari Terry was stood in silence for a while. <laughs> Puffy face. I knew I prevented the worst case scenario, but I couldn't help but feel bad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have scared you like that. <laughs> would you Would you like a drink? <laughs> From that moment onwards, Mori Terry didn't shout nor joke when I was around. Oh, she got super embarrassed. <laughs> she simply went quiet like a deer caught in headlights. I feel like she is really interested in like Steak? appearing strong too, so I could see that. Maybe she's like would be embarrassed because she appeared like weak and he had to help her, but I don't know. Just thinking. Just thinking about it. Uh, if you don't mind, 
Oh yeah, how about steak? Maybe I can go cook you it. Do <laughs> you do that? This has gotta be a dream. And now I've won you over. Well, kinda. <laughs> All right. If you ain't lying, do you know how I like them done? Raw. <laughs> no, but it shouldn't be an issue either way. Rare. Uh, you got it right. Rare, <laughs> rare, rare. <laughs> I didn't really guess, but <laughs> this girl. Come on, let's get out of here. Rare. rare. <laughs> Chanting all the way to the dining hall, Mori Terry didn't stop licking her lips. In the end, I never did pry into her past. I was content with that, but something told me she was ready to open up. Oh well, nothing can be done now. Okay, cute. Let okay, so I was like, is that really gonna be? I was like, yeah, all we have is birthday cake, which I assume would be twin. And then I was like, is that is that gonna be um? Is that gonna be pocket? He's the ultimate ice cream. <laughs> I'm in the cabin again. No shockers here. <laughs> Been doing this for a while now. I'll take a drink. Oh man. You guys like my cup, my Charmander cup? <laughs> <clears throat> Within the confines of a dream, I share the same space with the others. This time, I share the room with the all. Oh, okay. So this is pocket. What's a guy gotta do to get a drink around? <laughs> so I guess I guess twins the ultimate ice cream. I guess he is really into food, so I guess it kind of makes sense he would be that one. Pocket was standing by a bar at the back of the room, looking vagarious as he did. He quickly opened and closed some cabinets. Shit. Not a bottle in sight. Thirsty? Uh, oh, who's there? Is it a ghost? <laughs> you didn't notice me, little poon? <laughs> I was lying on the sofa when I came to, so I wasn't sure if he noticed me or not. Now it's just... I was like, I'm not sure if he's, like, thirsty or if he's actually, um... <laughs> trying to look for, like, a, a drink, like an alcoholic drink. Wait a minute, he can't see me past the back of this couch. This may be my chance to scare him. Indeed it is, Pocket. You've committed a grave sin. Therefore, you must learn from the lessons I offer. Uh, a real ghost? It, it can't be! You dare question my existence? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there was like a... I feel like it was like a vine that, that reminds me of. God, it was like... It's kind of like a really old one. Like, oh my god, blueberries or something like that. He like... Don't... There's some guy who like... He didn't want people to touch his blueberries or something, but me and my roommate in college would like reference it all the time. That's what it kind of sounded like there. Uh, no, I wouldn't dare, dude! Dude, that's sir to you! Uh, sorry, sir, dude! Of, of course, sir, dude. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, dude! <laughs> now then, I have a task for you. Will you listen? Sure. Sure. Sir? <laughs> sir, dude? Sure, sir, dude. <laughs> I used to say, sure, dude. Sir, dude. Sure, sir, dude, anything. Mm -hmm, very good. Now then, I'll explain. You still, you still want the bed? Repent! Your sin was the ogling of women. You must repent! Oh my god, that one's kind of true. <laughs> I've seen the way you look at Scarlet. <gasps> repent! <laughs> Those perverted eyes of yours have overstepped the mark, young one. Explain yourself! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. Girls are just so, <laughs> so hard eyes. Their hips, their thighs, their lips. I just can't get enough. Then it is time you put a stop to this deviant behavior post haste. But I don't know if I can. <laughs> Please help me, sir, dude. I'm nothing but a twisted perv. All right, enough's enough. Time to make my dramatic reveal. I prop myself up so Pocket can see me. Yo. <laughs> Enigma? I was just fucking with you, man. Sorry, man. I couldn't put you through that anymore. I was the ghost. Ew. <laughs> My bad. It was a harmless bit of fun between guys. That was low. <laughs> but even at... That was low, dude. But even at least there's... There's one positive about this. <laughs> I can still ogle girls. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I can still perv on girls. Woohoo! <laughs> right. Come on, man. I know you gotta have a pervy side to you, too. There is nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Come on, open up to me, man. Damn, he's right. But that was during my teenage phase. I've I've matured since then. 
Well, I still have one or two mags under my bed at home, but still. <laughs> What's your type anyways? I might say a girl with a chill personality, maybe a fan of, <laughs> of candy. <laughs> A huge knocker. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, you're not as fun as I thought you'd be. That can be the that can be the only thing he thinks about when I when looking at girls. What should I say? Is that really all you think about? You degenerate male. The tin coast coming out. Is that really all you think about? <laughs> no, man. You can't know that I like girls for their personalities too. Uh, gross cooties. What's wrong? You're right. I mean, that's not all I think about when it comes to chicks. It's just... Yeah? I'm shit at talking to girls, okay? Oh. There, I said it. No surprises there. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty obvious. You make me so fucking nervous, dude. I have no clue how to handle this. Listen, why don't you start by seeing if you can figure out when you started feeling this way. Great, now I sound like a therapist. <laughs> Maybe that's it, the ultimate therapist. You sound like a fucking therapist. <laughs> Thinking the same thing. Just to answer the question. I don't know. Maybe when I was in high school. What happened in high school? Girls would laugh at me and Aww. shit. Why am I telling you all this? Oh, it's got like a... Uh... Insecure because of that. I was gonna say I was like he's like a famous baseball star. You think that would help him out with the with the ladies? I'm sure plenty of girls will be like fans of him and uh, like would like him. But uh, I guess he might still have a uh, you know insecurities from being picked on. That's odd. Any reason why they laughed? I... Oh. Here comes the big revelation. Almost there. I looked weird. Oh, okay. you went through an awkward phase, huh? Huh, not as crazy as I thought it would be. How so? I had this shitty ass <laughs> haircut and wore edgy as shit gear. <laughs> Figured I looked cool at the time. <laughs> Can I imagine him being like, uh, like super, I don't know, like, kind of like one of those kids who like, I guess like when I was growing up, like being emo was like in, so you'd have like the super like black hair and you'd like have it all in your eyes. <laughs> like the eyeliner, you'd bring like a an anime sword to school and you'd be like, yeah, I'm so fucking badass with my Naruto shirt on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Advice number one, don't use a jacket with little poon written on it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could totally see him going through like the emo, the cringy emo phase that admittedly I went through a little bit as well growing up. Turns out, some <laughs> girls don't dig guys who can't see past their friends. Yeah, he totally had that haircut with like the hair all in his eyes. <laughs> it's like I was trying to think. There was like this one like meme. It was like uh, out of this emo guy, and he was like, "Don't you dare like insult anime." That's what that's what I imagine Pocket <laughs> looking like. <laughs> Edgy clothes, long hair, huh? Were Were you emo? You still look a little emo. No, <laughs> I mean, not. Just weird looking, okay? Yeah, he was emo. Definitely emo. Just one time, I asked out this girl I liked over text. Oh, no. The next day at school, Aww. all the girls were laughing at me. Turned out, she sent the text uh, across the entire school. That's so sad. The guys didn't really laugh at me. Some just pushed me around and shit. He's so mean. So, yeah. I guess that's why I have a hard time talking to them. Happy now? Listen, what's in the past stays in the past. Look at you now. You're the ultimate baseball star. You told me yourself, you're an all-star. You shouldn't let what happened back then get to you. I bet if you sat down with a girl and had a proper conversation, they'd be falling for you in no time. You think? So I don't look weird Aw. Well, maybe get rid of the little poon jacket. <laughs> but you, you definitely look good now. <laughs> Oh my god, back in the early 2000s where you use Avril Lavigne as a fashion icon. Yes! Oh my god! I was like, this basically... Basically, yeah, trying to look like Avril Lavigne. Oh my god, that was totally me. But like, all these, like, 
edgy, like, like the girly emo shirts with the bright pink and like the emo, I had like one shirt, oh my god, yeah, it was like literally like bright pink, had these like emo like pandas in like a band and it was like, I thought it was the coolest fucking shirt ever and I had like the emo bangs and I was like, nobody understands me, man. <laughs> I like wanted to be emo so bad, but I never wanted to like fully commit to it. I never dyed my hair black or anything. I still always had like blonde hair, but I did kind of like want to be edgy. <laughs> Now that I look, I can still see the remains of that emo look he had going on. But yeah, he's a good looking guy. He's got this. Let's try this. Give me the hottest look you can. <laughs> oh no. <Huh? laughs> yeah, look real sexy. And while you're at it, give me your best chat up line. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I feel like Pocket, are you repressing like some like sexuality stuff? Cause you're so like, no homo, no homo. I like girls, guys. <laughs> Oh man, already. Oh man, oh man up already. Come on now. Right. I could do this. No problem. Are you a raisin? Mm. Oh my Because you're a raisin. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god, no wonder she sent the text across the school if you sent her something like that. Oh my god, hold your horses! Oh, again, didn't I? <laughs> oh my god. That is that that was awful, man. <laughs> no, no, you you can do this. Just no more dirty shit, okay? One more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty Oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> Reason, because you reason. I'm not gonna be able to get over that. Okay, Lynn. <laughs> what did I just walk in on? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll tell that line to Rock to see if he likes it. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot get over that. You know who I am? What? I think it's about time we get to know each other, baby. Oh, that's still so cheesy. Just, just talk to her like a human being. Pocket. <laughs> Girls like that. Anything for you. I would. St I don't know. I. I'm not sure if other girls are like that too. But I. Uh, I don't like sweet talk very much. I mean, phew, you got me good, man. And oh, yeah, Enigma liked it. Anything for you, baby. I mean, uh, yeah, phew, man. It, nice work there. <laughs> totally wasn't feeling anything there. I, I did it. Did it? You nailed it. <laughs> Really? Got me questioning my sexuality and everything, bro. Who's the man? Who's the man? I'm the man. Oh, yeah, I am the man. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe don't do that afterwards. Enigma, this was really helpful. Thanks so much for talking with me. <laughs> Anytime. You got what it takes. Just keep practicing. Yeah. Thanks again, man. Before I could say another word, Pocket made a beeline for the door. Where are you going? I can't tell if it's like a bromance or like a little bit of a, a little bit more going on here. I guess it is just kind of like a bromance, probably. Where are you going? Enigma was just really into that into that line, you know. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Scarlet. See ya. They kind of remind me of that. Uh, what was that song? I think it was. It was called Scrubs, right? That one show. I didn't really watch that show too much. I just know they had that song that was like, "It's guy love, that's what it is." Like the bromance song. I could see them being like that. I'm gonna talk to Scarlet. See ya. What? Not cancel. Go talk to cancel. I ship you with her. Damn it. <laughs> that guy. At first, I thought I was climbing an impossible hill, but Pocket surprised me. He's got what it takes to find himself a decent girl, and when he does, I hope he'll continue to introduce me to her friends. <sighs> if only. <laughs> Aw, cute. Enigma's repressing his by side. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. <laughs> oh, man. I still can't believe that line. That killed me. The ultimate ice cream. I guess that is secretly twin, secretly twins. Uh, real true. Uh, oh wait, actually, I need to go back and do his um. Ah man, I forgot to do his other options. I'll go back, I guess, after that. I don't know if there's any way for me to really get through this quick. I'll just go ahead and do this, and then I can do the. Uh, this is the choice when you feed. I'll go back and do it in a second. Sorry, I kind of forgot. I was too busy talking. 
No way, it's the cabin. Oh wait, it's always the cabin. <laughs> I like how he's like pointing out how many times we've done this. Within the confines of a dream, as it is one of the others. In a particular dream, I spotted a well-dressed man with a friendly smile to boot. <sighs> but soon that smile turned into a frown. <laughs> oh good, oh good. I saw ice cream on the menu screen, but there's no ice cream here. Hey twin, what's troubling you? Oh good, no good, no good. Twin, d d can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, me hears you. What? What's wrong? My tummy. <laughs> My tummy's rumbling. Surprise, surprise. I kind of figured it was that much. Then find some food. No one's stopping uh, you. But me can't. Sure you can. Just take it one step at a time until you make it to, uh, until you make it to the dining hall. Easy. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to give him a different voice or not. I kind of just gave him the Gonta voice because the way he talks. But somebody was like, I could do like something a bit more high pitched. I guess I could always try to practice it later. No, no, no. Me can't call it. Me can't because me's. I <laughs> know that's awful. <laughs> I just give me the Gonta voice. <laughs> no, no, no. Me can't because me's on a diet. That was awful. Maybe I'll practice later. <laughs> a diet? You? Uh, why are you on a diet? Yeah. No. When, when did this start? Um... Me tries every so often. One time, it lasted a whole hour. My best record yet. Oh, no. So you can have, like, an eating disorder or something. Maybe, like, binge eating. Oh, I, I see. So this is going to last, then. What do I say to that? So this isn't going to last, then. What do I say to that? Forget about the diet. Let's eat. An hour isn't good enough if you want to get healthy. I don't know what to do. I feel like you probably has, like... An eating disorder or something. I see people talking about this being sad. I'm like, oh no. I feel like it's gonna go in that direction. Uh, let's just eat. No. No, me really shouldn't. I insist. Look at you. You're practically wasting away. It's time to give in, twin. Food. But me ate just a couple of hours ago. Still, your stomach is growling for a reason, right? That's no way to live, man. Uh. Maybe you're right. I was like, I wonder, I'm sure there are people who are just like hungry all the time. Like their bodies are just like that. I have like a really fast metabolism or something. Uh, maybe I'm right. I know I'm right. Let's find you something real fast. Yeah, if his body's telling him he's hungry, he should probably eat. But, but. No buts. A man needs his food. Let's go. Okay. Okay, but me, I'll just have something small. Then Twin and I proceeded to the dining hall. We, he just about ate all the food in the room. Thinking on it, that probably wasn't the best idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's not, but me thought I was doing really good. An hour won't cut it, I'm afraid. When was the last time you ate? Well, a couple of hours ago? And how hungry are you right now on a scale of one to 10? Hmm, hmm 10, definitely 10. This is going to be difficult. I wonder if like he wasn't around food when he was younger and that's why he likes to eat so much. All right, we need to do something about that gluttony of yours. You want to know what I do when I'm hungry, knowing full well that I don't need food? What? What? Sit out, I sit it, I sit it out and distract myself. He's confused. Oh, there's nothing to do here. Of course there is, we can talk. Huh? Let's bond, dude. Talk? Yeah, come and sit down. So Twin, while holding his stomach in pain, sat down opposite of me. <laughs> See man, this is going great so far. You look perfectly fine. <laughs> I want to find out the root cause of this obsession of yours. Danger? Oh man, is this a interrogation? No, it's nothing like that. I just want a one-on-one -on -one talk, a conversation. Oh. Thank goodness. Right, Twin, it's time to open up. Why do you love food so much? <laughs> food is everything. Doesn't everyone love food? Not as much as you, I think. He's screwed. Really? Me has a problem, then. Yes, you do. Wait, no you don't. I'm sure you'll grow out of it. Old. But me is 25. That's not really that old. A late blooming deal, that's all. Now you haven't answered my question. Why do you obsess over food so much? Right. Right, so, hmm, me thinks it's because of my friends in the biz. Oh. The voice acting business, you mean? Big dude. Yeah, you see, me knows these guys. They're like super huge. One is a pro wrestler. In the voice acting biz? Okay. Lots and lots. And they always bring food before a recording session. Always, tons of it too. After we, after we recorded, they take me to different restaurants so we can try lots of food. The first night it was one place, the next it was two, and it kept going like that. Me guess it was just, me guess that it just became normal after a while. 
The bigger of my two friends was the first to introduce me to my lover. Oh. Wait, I thought you were talking about food, not your girlfriends. Oh, but she is food, and my partner, of course. Uh, uh, what? Wait a minute, what? Chicken sandwich. Oh my god, is that? Yes, my one true love. The chicken sandwich when I played the sacrifice game. And they were asking me if I could sacrifice my, my who I care about the most. I, I could not give away the chicken sandwich. I had to compete in this death game. Chicken sandwich. Love. Yep, my my lover. You're in a in a relationship with a chicken sandwich. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. So nonchalantly. Yep. Uh -huh. I see. Very interesting. Tell me more. Leave. Tell me more about this blooming romance. Well, chicken sandwich and me met at a pretty at a convenience store. She was really pretty and all. Oh yeah, convenience store chicken sandwich. The best. Me still remembers it to this day. She was wearing the see-through dress. Oh, and me could see her. The, the rapper? Enough, that's enough. I get the picture. <laughs> but twin, you have to be serious with me just this once. Do you actually believe you're in a relationship with a sandwich? Uh, uh, okay, fine. Me know it's all baloney. Oh, praise the Lord. So why did you say that? Me just lonely, okay? Gosh. But didn't you say that you had friends just now? Me made them up. Aw. So, so you didn't go to all those restaurants? Oh no, that part's true. Me just went alone instead. Me eat sometimes. Cousin makes me feel better. Aw. Aw, that's sad. It's like whenever he feels sad or like lonely, he eats. And then he eats all the time because he always feels sad and lonely. Some things have happened, so me likes to splash out... Every now and then, me buys tons of grubs, chocolate, ice cream, candy canes, even marshmallows. Yeah, definitely comfort, comfort food for sure. Those are all candy, not that I'm personally complaining. Me thinks it's called comfort eating, yeah. I see, that makes a lot more sense. Would you like to talk about these things that upset you? Me guess me talk about one of them. I'm all ears. Thanks. Thanks. So, um, oh. me kind of lost my best friend not that long ago. Oh. Best friend, I'm sorry to hear that. His name was Gab. Oh. My dog. Got into an accident. Oh no, you need to be cross with dogs. What happened to him? Me and Gab went on our usual walk. Gab's really playful and likes to chase stuff a lot. Usually he'd run around on a field for a bit until he gets tired, but this time. Oh. This time he oh, no. decided to chase a car. That's so sad. He tried to call to him, but he wouldn't listen. Next thing me heard was this cry when he... Oh my god, that's just horrible. When, when he got hit. Oh god, I can't imagine that. Oh. <laughs> it's alright, take your time. He was traveling a lot at the time, and he came everywhere with me. That was all me had. That's so sad, man. I can't imagine how I'd feel if, like, my cat, like, died, especially, like, in front of me, you know? Oh my god, I would just, like, feel so guilty and, like, sad and just, like, awful. They tried to help him at the vets, but there was nothing they could do. Me had to watch him get the injection. And Gab would... He would always try and, and, and steal my sandwiches, you know? All the time. I hope him and Risty can become good friends, though, at least. I mean, they're probably gonna die, though, because this is a death game. You know, before, he only ate one now and then. Because he loved them Aww. so much. Aww, that's so sad. Since he died, me bought tons. Aww. Me hoped that one day when me wasn't looking, my sandwich would disappear. Oh, that's so sad. Then me would know Gab is watching over me. That hasn't happened. Not ever. Oh, this is so sad, dude. A nigga must steal one of his sandwiches while he's while he's eating one day. Me actually has a chicken sandwich right now. <laughs> Just in case. That's so sad. But I thought you said you didn't have any food. Me doesn't. Aw. This is for Gab only. He figures he just got lost on his way back to his best bud. He's gotta keep me company, after all. Aww. 
Me will keep eating him until he finds me. And no one's gonna tell me no. Aww. Poor guy, he really misses his dog. Wait, I've got an idea. Hey twin, how about you try calling Gab here now? Huh? Yes, please. Please, Enigma, please steal the, steal the sandwich, make him feel better. Put the sandwich down on the table. When you do, we'll both turn around so Gab knows we're not looking. And hopefully when we turn around, it'll be gone. Sure. Aww. We, we can try that. Poor twin, dude. Why do you want to help? It's so sad. I feel like uh, he acts so goofy all the time. I guess it could be also to like just kind of distract himself. To like make jokes. To, you know, distract himself from the heartbreak. Because I know what it's like to lose a friend. Now let's do this. Who did Enigma lose? My plan was foolproof. So long as twin didn't notice me move. All I had to do was eat the sandwich before he turned around. I guess like... Enigma, he was kind of like a bad boy, you know, and he had like a friend. I wonder if he lost his friend somehow, like doing a uh, bad boy stuff. Twin carefully placed the sandwich in the center of the table. Afterward, we both counted to three and turned our bodies around. Oh no, where did my sandwich go? If Gab was here right now, me bet he'd snatch it. <laughs> Twin calling out to Gab was my perfect opportunity. I slowly shifted my weight towards the table, grabbed the sandwich, and I ate it as fast as I could. It was no cheesecake, that's for sure, but I got it down in no time. I think we should turn around now? Oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Why do you sound like that, Enigma? No reason. What? Aww. It's, it's gone. That's so sweet. It is. Gab? <laughs> Gab, is that you? Aww. Wait a minute. Did you uh -oh. move it somewhere, Enigma? Is this a prank? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> oh, no. The worries escalated tenfold when Twin decided to check the room for any signs of the sandwich. Luckily, I ate it, but I wasn't sure what he'd do if he found a crumb or something. There's nothing here. Oh, okay, that's good. It's a good thing that he ate it. Yeah, the voice actor did do a really good job with uh, the scene, for sure. You see? So... Aww. That, that means... Gab, he... I think he's home. Thank you, Aww. Enigma. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. I missed you, buddy. <laughs> to some, they may have felt bad for lying to Twin, but I sure as hell didn't. Twin was lonely. He needed to feel the support Gab used to give him. In the end, the bond for a man's best friend trumped ever anything I could have said to make him feel better. I'll make you a promise, Gab. If you believe... If you believe I shouldn't have done that, you can bite me in heaven one day. Deal? <laughs> oh, that was so cute. Okay, I'll do his other options and then we'll, we can do pockets. Or actually, I did, um, did I do all of his? Oh, oh no, uh, leave. Oh, wait, where what? are you going? <laughs> I'm going to ask Rule to kill me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think it was so freaking sassy. Oh, cool. I can do that one next too. Let me uh, do pockets though first. Okay. You still wet the bed. Repent! Uh, <laughs> I guess the jig is up. No way this guy still wets the bed. <laughs> how did you know about that? I had a feeling. <laughs> My god. You fool, I know all. I see all. Repent. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I don't know why, but I can't help myself. Things just scare me, dude. <laughs> I think it's time to show myself. I puffed myself up so Pocket could see me. Uh, what brings you here? <laughs> Enigma. Yo. Bruh. Did you? Yeah, I was the go. Did you see the ghost? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, totally, dude. It was pretty, pretty scary. <laughs> this guy has a lost cause. If there's one thing I can't fucking handle. <laughs> there's one thing I can't fucking handle, man. It's ghost. It's okay. Wanna wanna hug it out? Please. <laughs> Why are you so scared all the time? Thus, Pocket and I embraced to dispel all of his embarrassment. I can't say learning that secret didn't make me look at him any differently because it did. But what was important? What? But what was important is the valuable lesson I learned. <laughs> I play a pretty damn good ghost. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh oh yeah, you degenerate male. Degenerate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you're one of those people. You're a Tinko. What uh, made you say that anyway? Yeah, I don't know. It just kind of came to me. 
What matters here is your attitude. You need to brush up on the way you think of women, man. Okay, sensei. Hit me. How do I change? First off, no more staring at their breasts. It's, it's wrong. That's only the first thing? <laughs> Bro, you just took all the fun out of it. Oh my right? god. <laughs> Second, no more looking at their ass either. It's just as bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> what the hell? You can't take ass ogling away from a guy. Oh my god. Finally, when you take the former into account, you have to look at a girl in the eye when talking to them. And here I thought college. Oh my god, Pocket. No wonder you're not getting a girlfriend. <laughs> Jeez. But you're right need to change. I'll start right away. Good man. Good and proud of you. It looks like my job here is done. Satisfied, I turned my back to pocket and began to head towards the door. Say, uh, where are you off to now? Uh, I'm just going to tell everyone to... <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone to call you to generate mail until you fix your attitude. A whole game of Tinkos. What? <laughs> Motherfuck! <laughs> okay. Uh. Good old pocket. Okay, I think I did. I did all of his too, right? Um, twins? Yeah, I think the only thing I didn't do is the leave. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and save. And then we can do this little special thing. Yay. Oh, I get to... Okay, cool. I get to do it with myself. It'd be kind of nice to learn more about Enigma. Where am I? Who am I? Uh, you're Enigma? <laughs> My gosh. Apparently. And you are... I'm, I mean, see, I was playing this game. I was controlling you when, oh, me. Down, get out. Oh, it's, oh, it's just me. I don't have to do Enigma's voice at all. Oopsie. <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? Okay, so I'm, I'm me here. Oh, interesting. My gosh. Apparently, and you are? I'm, you see, I was playing this game and I was controlling you when. Settle down, get out. I'm sure this is just a dream. It's been happening to me too. Yeah, I know. That's because I... Look. I've been playing this game. <laughs> Look, take a seat. Maybe we can chat over a coffee or something. I make a mean one. Oh, sure. Cool. Cool, relax for a bit. <laughs> Tinko Rampa. <laughs> Perfect. What's going on here? One second I was playing as Enigma. The next minute I'm talking with him? Drink up. Here, drink up. That was fast. What can I say? <laughs> I'm a video game character. I'm good at this stuff. You literally took a few seconds. So... So what were you saying before? Something about a game? He completely ignored me. Yeah, I controlled you and went through all the other's events. Huh? Heard all their tragic backstories and stuff. Events? Yeah, I had to pick an ice cream and then... Ice cream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where? Um... I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So everyone had an ice cream, huh? Besides me. <laughs> it's like so sad. Oh man, can you reach into the game code enigma and grab grab an ice cream for yourself? You can get the ultimate ice cream. I didn't see yours though. I wonder what it would have been. Chocolate. God, I really could eat a chocolate fudge ice cream right now. I guess that's what it would have been. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so then what happened? That was it. I spoke with everyone in your shoes and then I wound up here. <sighs> um, let's say this is true. Let me ask you something about some people I spoke to. Get it right, and I'll tell you something about me. How does that sound? Oh, I'm gonna get quizzed. But that doesn't solve my problem. How do I get out? Actually, it might. When I spoke with the other guys, I noticed that each of them told me a secret about their life. When that happened, I woke up from my dream. So if I do the same for you, you'll wake up too, right? But this isn't a dream, it's a game. Kids. <laughs> kids these days, everything's a game. You kids with your Roblox and your Minecraft. Aren't you like 21? And for all you know, I could be older than you. Kids times two. And so loud too. God, these kids these days. Ah, uh, fine. Let's do your little quiz. <laughs> Such an old soul enigma. Sweet. Sweet. Here's my question. What was the name of the dogs Cross and Twin mentioned? Poppy, Mika. You know, Enigma, I always thought you were kind of hot. Forget the quiz. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's like this game knows me. <laughs> Hell yeah, Enigma, let's date. <laughs> Wait. I like this route. Uh, the real world kind of blows. Let's date. We can stay, we can stay right here forever, oh. baby. As much as I'd love to, I have people waiting for me. I, I can't stay here. 
Oh, forget about them. This is just a game. I'm sure we'd, you'd be happier with me. You see. <laughs> oh man, this is really breaking the fourth wall. Look, you're good looking and all. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, Annie. <laughs> but I, I really have to get out of here. Maybe we can date once I've left this academy? How does that sound? Is there an outside? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you, baby. <laughs> Is there an outside? Did the devs even make an outside world? It's a lot to deal with. <laughs> Great. Cross, you guys should make like a Enigma body pillow. <laughs> it's like, that's how you get Enigma out of the game after <laughs> afterwards so you can date him. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Get an Enigma. Or you get Enigma cardboard cutout. <laughs> perfect. I was thinking that too. Just Enigma. <laughs> Beautiful. You know, this whole game deal is really, it's really getting to me. It may feel like a game to you, but my, my life is precious to me. And people are waiting for me who are even more precious. So so if you don't mind, you, you don't love me, Enigma? Why why am I the Monica in this situation? <laughs> All right, you're right. I'm sorry for saying those things. No, <laughs> Just weepy stop. news. <laughs> Too late, you've said enough. But if we don't talk, we may end up here forever regardless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enigma body pillow. <laughs> Come on, you know those would sell. <laughs> oh, oopsie. Ah, my uh, my webcam fell. How long ago did that happen? Uh, this stupid thing never stays in place. <laughs> it's getting too excited, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Poppy, Mika, and Gab. I'm impressed. Did Cross mention Gab too? I was like, I think he's a twin and Cross. Okay. I was like, I hope my camera wasn't gone for too long. It kinda kinda does that sometimes. Well, you actually got it right. You see, I haven't been lying. How about this? Well, I still don't believe you about the game thing because I have a different theory. What if you've been expressing my dreams from a third person perspective? Experiencing my dreams from a third person perspective. And what if you were broadcasting it on YouTube? <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. It's almost like you're the audience while I'm the author and director. That reminds me of this game I played once. You should try it. It's called AI. <laughs> okay, let's just say that it's not a game then. Let me think. Cool, now, what should I tell you about myself? Judging... Judging by how it went with the others, I'll have to... I'll have to be... It'll have to be something good, huh? I think I got it, but once I tell you this, you can't tell anybody else, okay? Uh, perfectly. Gotcha. Great, right. My best friend. This is about someone I lost a few years back. He was my best friend. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured something might have happened with his friend. Like, maybe he could have died or, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe gone to jail or something, too? It's not like they were doing a bunch of, bunch of crazy stuff. I could see it being either way. Oh, Maple! Yay! Thank you for, uh, joining. Oh, wow, you're the uh, Enigma voice actor. Oh, perfect, thank you for joining. That's so cool. Oh, how do you access the game? I'll put a link in the description um, once uh, I finish the stream. It's really easy, though. You can just look up, like, uh, Danganronpa F Cabin Confiding. I think you can just look up Cabin Confiding, and it's, like, the first page that come up. It's about somebody I lost a few years back. He's my best friend. Before you think that he died, before you think that he died, he didn't. I lost him as a friend because we were stupid kids, that's all. Oh. We were always close, ever since I can remember. It wasn't until high school that we got closer. Girls. And it all started because of this one chick in our class. We both liked her. Oh, they just kind of stopped being friends, I guess. Naturally, it didn't take long for us to become rivals. If she was nearby, we tailored our lifestyle to the things that she liked. For example, if she said she wanted a guy with long hair, we grew our hair out and <laughs> bought wigs. Stupid. It was pathetic. Eventually, we butted heads harder than ever. Then this girl said she wanted a strong guy. We actually decided to fight for her love. It <laughs> didn't work. The winner would get the rights to date her. Of course, she had no idea about all of this. <laughs> I was like, she's probably gonna like have this huge brawl then go to her and she's like, I didn't like either of you guys. Sorry. Hell, she probably didn't even know he liked her. Anyway. Anyways, we arranged a place at, and time. We beat the shit out of each other that day. But when... But when one couldn't beat the other, we just started laughing. When we looked at each other, all battered and bruised, it made us realize how stupid we were. That's how it goes. After that, we gave up on the girl and hung out now and again. Aw, that's a sweet story, I, I think. <laughs> yeah, no. 
Yeah, but our friendship didn't last. We started getting into trouble in our later high school years. Ditched class, drank, smoke, all sorts of bad shit. Guess it wasn't bad enough for my friend, though. Nah. What did he do? Drugs. He got caught with drugs. Cocaine, mostly. Oh, yeah, man. This was before he offered me some. I bolted as soon as I saw the cops. Uh, dang. I tried to warn, warn him not to go too far, but he wouldn't listen. I couldn't stick up for him at that stage. He didn't listen to me and kept pulling scummy shit. It was apparently my fault. What's funny is how his parents reacted. They pushed all the blame on me, said I gave him the drugs. Our parents never saw eye to eye again. Shortly after, neither did we. <sighs> Haven't spoken with him since. Yeah, I can kind of see. I can see that being the case. Maybe it's for the best. Why not try and be friends again, like the old days? Eh, sometimes people grow apart, you know? I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, much... <laughs> you can't change somebody if they don't want to change, you know? That's what everyone tells me. You're probably right. I doubt he'll listen to me anyway. Types like him aren't worth your time. Yeah. Oh, but I still miss him. Hey. Do you mind if we speak about this more in a bit? I need some time to think. Aw. Oh, sure. Thanks, kiddo. <laughs> Got me, kiddo. Wait, that's not good. I need to get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Why not try and be friends Last like the I old heard days? He got a part-time job somewhere. And he'll never believe who his boss is. Uh, it cross? <laughs> who? And the same girl oh. we had a crush Oh, on. my God. <laughs> Damn it, he's winning. <laughs> no way. Poor guy must have been embarrassed at the interview. Oh, my Part God. Part of me wishes I could have seen his reaction when he got the job. Aw. We would have had a good laugh. He might have changed now, too, you know? When... Then do what I said. Go back and talk to him. I know you can do it. Mm, yeah. Maybe. No. No maybes. You, li you only live once. You both had time to think things over. Plus, if you were as close as it seems, I'm sure he's been thinking about you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I needed to hear that. Aw. So many people have told me that I need to forget about him. Give up and move on, they'd say. I would never say that, Enigma. Disgusting. That would that would never be the first option I would choose. But not you, <laughs> a stranger. Hey, I know more about you than you think. What's that? Oh, because of this game thing? I know everything. No, not just that. It's because I care about you. I care about all you guys. I've seen this play out before, and things don't usually end well, yeah. And this thing. Yeah, I know it makes me so sad hearing all their sad stories and I'm like, yeah, Corzy, you'll meet somebody you love someday and I'm like, oop. <laughs> like, or twin, yeah, no, you're gonna get another dog and like, everything will be great. And I'm like, oh, probably not though, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> Oops. Just please, no matter what happens, promise me this. Huh? Never stop fighting. You said you wanted out of here, right? Then fight and fight and never stop. Once you make it out, which I know you will, Find your old friend. You find him and tell him how much he means to you. Laugh again like the old days. Hey. hey. What if this is a game? Is all of this even real? Hmm. From having this talk, you're more real than many people in the world. I am. Kind of reminds me of like, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say it because it's like a spoiler. Yeah, maybe you felt forced to confide in me like that. But when you did, I could feel how much you care about living. Suddenly, I could feel my consciousness slipping. It was evident I was being pulled from the game. I think I have to go soon, so promise me, okay? Y yeah. Huh. I promise. Thanks, Enigma. Good. Oh, and one more thing. Tell the others I think they're pretty cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah. Right. I'm out of here. Good luck, Enigma. You too. Whatever happens in your life, I'll be cheering you on. Thank you, okay. Enigma. <laughs> and go eat that ice cream you mentioned. <laughs> I'll join you in spirit. <laughs> please, please eat the ice cream. Tell me what it tastes like. We'll see. <laughs> what? What was your name? <gasps> All right, my name is Da na 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 Weeby. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Cute. Oh, that was so nice. That was fun. I like the fourth wall breaking part too. <laughs> Good times. I don't know if there's anything else. Probably not. That was pretty cute though. I liked it. What's the what's the main menu? Okay, I already saved. 
Okay, let's look at the creators. Chris Bob, Moriteru, uh, Corey Hall, Zell. Thanks guys so much for all the work that you put into this. I think it's good, yeah, to give a shout out to everybody here. Oh my god, Stevie Pilgrim. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're watching this or not, but I have like one of the theme songs. I've had like one of the theme songs that you made like stuck in my head like all week. <laughs> It's like the uh, second opening one, like the super epic one. I was thinking that song stuck in my head like all week. I love this song too. <laughs> Thanks guys for all the hard work on this uh, video. And yeah, I guess that will uh, conclude Cabin Confiding. Next time, I guess we'll probably watch the last two episodes and do the free time events. I'll probably try to do all of them. There's also... My stream after that's gonna be on Halloween, and I kind of wanted to, um, kind of want to try to do the horror game. I figured if I do end up playing some Shattered Hope, I can maybe do a horror game afterwards. So, like, maybe do Shattered Hope in the day, and then a horror game that night. But let me know too what you guys want um, me to, or what you guys might be interested in me playing. That's a scary game. Oh, yeah, thank you, Cross, for coming to the stream. And no problem. Thanks for making these. It's like awesome. It's just it's such a pleasure to play. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I'm so like grateful for you and like other like fangan creators like keeping the Danganronpa spirit alive, you know? Even if we don't get a Danganronpa 4, I feel like I can still be like, well, we got the fan games, <laughs> you know? So uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll do the free time stacks and um, hopefully finish the story up too. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying to maybe rewatch some of the old ones too so I can work on some theory building. I knew this one was kind of like the love hotel, so I didn't really uh, look back at some stuff and take notes. I'll do that next time though. Yeah, thanks guys for uh, stopping by. I uh, appreciate it. And I should hopefully have another video up pretty soon too on Tribe 9. But yeah, I'll see you guys pretty soon. And bye. Have a good uh, rest of your day.